Alright. Go! No Japan. No warrior now. This park. Microphone check one two. What is this? No Japan. No warrior now. Parks on the board. Actually, your comeback album should just be guitars. No, 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 you got going on today. I a lot of funk sway. You doing that? You doing that? Man. I love earth tones. Now I'm feeling that. We getting right to it today. Parks, how you doing? I'm doing well. Glad to hear it. Rory, what's going on with you? Good, man. I can't complain. Cash app. E-Rab on the boards, huh? You know the vibes when E-Rab <laughs> is back there. Savon is here. Corey is here. <laughs> Alex the Great is here. Everybody's doing fine. So let's get right to the shits, huh? New Kid Cuddy. Mm. <laughs> Go. <laughs> How you feeling, Joey? The this, king, uh, the king is this, back. This podcast is sponsored by. And, and oh yeah, 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 yeah. We sponsored by. And cash we app. sponsored by. Hey, don't, don't just don't, don't. <laughs> Kid Cudi app. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, we are powered by, sponsored by, empowered by, enabled by our favorite app, Cash App. You know the vibes. And with that being said, new Kid Cudi. I mm-hmm. actually think Cudi was one of, if not the first artist to send money via an app on a phone. Probably so. Tell tell the people your little inside joke that you guys are going to continue for the next for the next for the next three hours. I've been saying on this podcast for years that Cuddy is the reason for how music sounds now. Let's get to the real shit, man. Who's an atheist? Not me. I have beliefs. <laughs> just, 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 oh God, I fuck with no, some beliefs. Please, please no. Please. I fuck with some please. beliefs. <laughs> I fuck with a few beliefs. Yeah. I believe shit. Uh, yeah. No, come on, let's get right into it. New music, the aliens. Oh. Hmm? Aliens. Oh, Rory's got breaking alien news. I didn't the break the news. Have y'all not been paying attention? The aliens are here. Well, there are a lot of. Uh, and, what do they call tell us. Tell us. And Trump news. Tell us. Uh, inform. Inform the listeners. Former. Uh, is that? Does that say Israel? Yes. Israeli. Israeli. Okay. Former Israeli <laughs> space security chief. <laughs> Says extraterrestrial exists and Trump Sound knew it about out, it. Sound it out, Rory. Sound it out. How you was All able right. to say it extraterrestrials is. but not Israeli? <laughs> because, Maul, I'm an American. Yeah. Oh, okay, my bad. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> these colors don't. These colors don't run. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> these colors don't run. <laughs> oh, Your man knew about it the whole time, Maul. Of course, aliens exist. Who doesn't think that? No, nah, but they're exist? here. Like they're chilling. Yeah. And actually, I think you owe Parks, Joe, myself, and I think the rest of the room an apology. Yeah, that's You true. are not going to storm Area 51 with us uh, when we brought it up, what was that, six months ago? Yeah. <laughs> who was, I, I wasn't going either. Who, there were, <laughs> who was, it was the uh, WikiLeaks guy that said they don't exist. He was doing all his hacking and couldn't find no aliens. But Wikipedia, you can do that on your own. Yeah, it's true. No, nah, aliens exist. Yeah. Yeah, aliens exist. And they said that we're, we're just not ready for them. Do you guys believe in portals? Portals? Like, do you believe there's like... Hidden portals in the in the world that take you other places and other dimensions. I do. Uh, no? I'm a little. I'm not saying it's impossible, but I'm not sold on that. I do. You ever been to Broadway Junction? To where? Broadway Junction? <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> so, there's a portal into the hood. What was that yeah. shit called back in the day? When the dude <laughs> traveled through time and went into alternate universes as a different guy? Back to the Future. No. Fuck it. Carry there on. was a, there was a real story of, and I watched like a, a mini show. doc on the some fly. guy. Don't get me started. <laughs> don't, rock, don't rile them up. <laughs> don't rock the boat. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Please don't do that. Uh, listen, shout out to our SoundCloud listenership. Shout out to our Apple listenership. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Uh, pardon me. Uh, subscribe right here. Swipe up, down, subscribe, add. All of that. All of that shit that the YouTubers are supposed to say. Uh, now, where were we? Aliens are here. Got it. And right? uh, there's some doc, watch it, about a guy that went up on a ski lift for to ski and ended up the next day in California with all his ski equipment on. So I do believe mm. that, yes, portals exist. You know, well, let's just throw this whole podcast out of whack and do shit out of order. Let's do it. What that just made me think of the Your Honor show and I did watch it. I did too. You watched Fire. it? Fire. 
You watch I it? I didn't watch it. Fire. I'll catch why, up. why are you always the Fire. last one to the watch this <laughs> no, show? No, no, but party. that's a that's a fairly new it's it's fairly I'm doing it all people, the time though. Yeah. Oh, 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 I don't know about that. But yeah, this show, a lot of people haven't seen Yana yet. And it's only one episode in. Rory's so. not watching television at home, you guys. No, I'm not, I'm not really a TV guy these you days. You guys. <laughs> I just sit with the lights off. You just going to breathe right by it? Yeah, I mean, but well, 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 we, we know Rory's been going through cutting. a little. I mean, he's got TVs in there. I have uh, a couple. The TVs look at Rory now. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is a really good show. Great. Well, well I, I, one episode, one episode. in, I, great episode. Yeah. Because we don't know how it's going to play out, but... You know, uh, I forgot his name. What's the uh, the judge's name he, uh, from Breaking Bad? Uh, Brian Cranston. Brian yeah, he's he's part of legendary. Oh, that TV. is the Breaking Bad dude. Absolutely, yeah. and the dude from uh, the the mob Malcolm boss. In the middle, other though. dad is in a lot of shows. Yeah, in, uh, Boardwalk Empire. Amongst yeah. other. So they have the actors that have been in legendary shows. So. Facts. I just like where it's going so far. I get it's it. Crazy. It's episode one. It's crazy. But yeah. What a what a storyline. The son yeah. pissed me off though. He he was just he just pissed me off. He was just doing so. No, much we can't do a spoiler shit. alert. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. It's too I'm early. Not, we I'm can't not. do that. But we he can't. just <laughs> we'll spoil first. He episode. was just doing dumb shit. And it's like, fam, I. Right. But great first episode. Yeah, yeah, great really, first episode. Really good. Uh, really good first episode. This show comes on Sundays. Sundays at 10 p.m. Sundays. It's an hour longer. Thirty minutes. Hour. Hour. Oh, it's lit. Yeah, I think. Oh, it's only one episode. Nothing's thirty minutes. One episode. I'll catch up. I'll catch up tonight then. Yeah. Yeah, great, yes. great first episode. Yeah, when the when the fire show comes out Sunday, it does oh, no, something different yeah, to me. Yeah. Sunday's HBO. Oh, it's no. just I feel like Sundays Sunday. was always the night for it the sets yeah. Monday show. It sets Monday off. Yeah, good, yeah. Good water cooler talk. You know what I mean? It, it does something. It does. Uh, okay, come on. We can get to uh, the rest of this shit later. Back to music. Back to music. <laughs> Ma, wait, what was your water cooler? Huh? <laughs> what was your water cooler? The, the deli, ice, the ice machine in front of the bodega, <laughs> the stash, quarter yeah. quarter waters. Yeah, you know the ice machine where you got to get the you got to get yeah, the, the key the, from the Project Lobby. <laughs> yeah, that's what we talk shit at right there about a about a mailbox on the corner. Oh yeah, you know I, mean? I just just wondered what yours was. Yeah, fire right. hydrant. You know what I mean? <laughs> sit right there. When we go into the second lockdown, are you not going to fly anything in, or fly to something, or fly to Houston or Atlanta or Vegas or, um, or Pennsylvania? I'll probably fly somewhere. Yeah, I want to get out of New York for a while, see something different. A little light Cabo. It's not a bad idea, light, but light I don't know about Mexico. Cabo on him. Mexico is a little, uh, it's a little tricky right now. Has anything altered about you guys' New Year's Eve plans as of yet, or no? I was still no. down with the orgy in Miami. <laughs> you sold. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't look at no else. Style. That? Everyone on Reddit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Joking. Yeah, nah, no plans other than what we talked about, and those yeah. were tentative plans. Those weren't like. Concrete pan, yeah. Plans. Probably get drunk with my friends. That's always a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. They closed indoor dining again, so I hate to be this guy, but boy, do I feel the depression in New York since I got back from Miami. Got to take no, you, take you back, bro. Don't it's do that, Corey. Don't laugh at me. You feel it because everywhere I do else feel it feels it. like people are it's out just, living, like, but you don't feel it when you are in it and don't leave it, and you're conditioned and yeah. you're here. And, exactly. and it's only because when you got back from Miami, Kid Cudi dropped. Damn, I didn't even think about it like that, yeah. Parks. He was waiting for Joe? Nah, it wasn't a joke, Joe. He was waiting for Joe to Depression get is serious. They're gonna drag, <laughs> I'm not sure if he take it serious. Miami. They're going to drag this Kid Cudi thing. Absolutely. To, by, I listened by, to the first five, and I like the She Knows This. That's probably my favorite out of the first five that I heard. She Knows This was a good record. Internet, I have nothing to offer Pussy. about this particular body of work. <laughs> it is a body of work. I have no critique Analyzation. None? I got nothing for you, man. You mean like she knows this? I see you bopping a little bit when you playing that Didn't hand. get a chance to really digest it. Okay. He didn't hear uh, one of those. Okay. okay. Didn't let it, you know what I mean? I gotta, I gotta sit with you me. Like yeah. Album right. just dropped. Like, the album, did, album just did. dropped, you it guys. Did, it did just drop. Come on, I can't come in here and. and when did you press play on and, the album? All over at 1201, I think. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty. If, I'm if pretty. You can I mean, if my recollection is right, I'm pretty sure that was twelve oh yeah, one. After. Cut, Cutty Nation. Yeah, Cutty Nation. <laughs> it was one after when you press play. <laughs> you are an asshole. I was waiting by the phone. Yeah, I know. True. Me too. Me too. Yeah. And then you felt like, wow, now I understand where everyone got their style from. Right. I mean, it's too it, early, man. It just dropped, y'all. It did. Uh, it just came out. It did. That's what I told y'all. I heard, only heard the first Yeah, five. we got to give... Come on, we got to give other, our legends a fair shake, I man. heard Jack Harlow. I like Jack Harlow's so I really like, enjoyed Cuddy's. You've had, you've had no opinion 
on on this album at all. Got to give our legends a fair shake, man. Can't okay. just you can't you can't be run, one of the music uh, journalists that just rush out to have a take or an opinion on something. Sometimes mm-hmm. you got to let things sit. Well, mm-hmm. you, you, yeah, bought you bought that's, it. That's, that's where I am now, uh, going on seven years of podcasting dominance. You yeah. you bought you bought the album right because you support music. Well, I, am. I mean, quick seven. Well, why, why you if you were gonna, you put was on, there for some of that. <laughs> if you were gonna, put uh, on, you like, was there. You joined me on the journey. If you're gonna put on some like <laughs> melodic shit. I mean, go? Park's been there. I ain't even got a question. You know about it. But why you ain't hit the album though? He heard it. He you just... had mad time to hit the album. <laughs> Cuddy's shaking <laughs> in his boot. Got him shaking in his boots. Did y'all hear it? Y'all liked it? I listened to it. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Especially the first half. The second half got back into his more spacey vibes, which I'm. I get it, but it's not as much for me. The first half sounded like Cuddy, mm-hmm. early Cuddy. Okay. To me. I enjoyed it. You did? I enjoyed it, yes. And I liked the spacey part. I'm not big on the spacey. The spacey kind. part. That's what we call it. The spacey part. <laughs> I like the spacey shit, but like make it a bop though, which was the first half of the album. No, I can appreciate that someone has been this sad for this long. Yeah, that's difficult. <laughs> that's, that's difficult. That's what you, like, you got to think about. It. Like most artists, though, they'll be sad and then they'll come into like, wow, I'm happy now. I finally figured out like who I am, and I no longer I have those feelings. And now let's talk about mental health. Now he's still full fledged depressed. But how? Look at the, the the titles of the tracks. Beautiful trip. Tequila shots. A joke could never. Another day. <laughs> that just sounds like a great title. How are you depressed? She knows this. She always knows this. Then you dive. But then, <laughs> then you get damaged. After. Yeah, then it's heavy. Yeah, on he, he jumped in the shallow end. Oh, sad people. That's where it takes a turn. Mm. September 16th is when she dumped him. Joe's kid. so mad he's not Mr. Solo Dolo. Yeah, it's a fact. For the third time. But the first five, I, I like, she knows this out of the first five. I like the heavy. I'm listening to it. I'm to it I like a lot of the first, first yeah, half. No, I'm going to check this I'm out. I'm listening to it this weekend. But a lot of music came out, though. Is it still on your phone from when you purchased it? What is it about Cuddy that doesn't uh, speak to your soul? <laughs> that Joe speaks it? Yeah, what is it? Not not this album aside. I didn't, yeah. say, I didn't say anything. No, no, no. But in, in, in the past... I purposely didn't say a thing. No, no, no. In the past, you've, you've spoken about you don't really vibe with Cuddy's music like that. Uh, can we pull it out when I said that? No, I can't pull it. You said it. I'm, uh, not say, I'm not going to say you said something that you didn't say. Don't recall, man. Oh, okay. But you I, seem like I don't, you don't really I don't vibe recall, with his music. I don't recall saying that. Okay. All right. I'm gonna listen to it. I'm gonna give it a shot because I like Cuddy, so I'm gonna give it a shot. Same. I'm not as, as big a Cuddy fan as some people are, but same. I'll listen to it. I love his first album. The stuff in between, not so much, but I enjoy this. Yeah, man. For me, it's just the right timing for Cud, man. Well, I mean, that's there's, that's validity to that. <laughs> I hate you so much. <laughs> Tell us about the right time. It is for you. <laughs> you don't play Cuddy at every time. You're not going to the gym and playing Cuddy. <laughs> Going for a peppy run. Now, you know, Joe is just sad, and when he hears somebody else sad, he gets mad. Yeah. Yo, I just want to be clear. You get mad at the sad. Because y'all going to get the cud hive to attack me, and Joe hasn't said a word other than I got to check it out. Okay. Why are you scared of the cud hive? I'm scared of all the hives. I parts. Too. Uh, some, of the hives some of the hives are cool. Old. Some of the hives are cool. I don't, want, I don't want smoke with any of the hives, but are you guys done with your detailed kid cuddy? Um... If no one else wants to talk about it, I guess so. Al- yeah. Album deep dive. Well, I, I, like I said, I only heard the first. I was expecting five. Rory to really come in here and give it up. For, he seems uh, like a cut guy, especially like uh, album if, of the year. Yeah, but now he's trying to downplay <laughs> it. You know, already you calling it. Yeah, I mean, off I, before I even heard it. Yeah, yeah. I'm twelve oh one album of the year. I'll, I'll I'll get into the album this weekend. Okay, but there's a lot of new music too. There is. Yeah, there is. This album I love. Jack Harlow. Yeah. Sounds good. I was uh, pleasantly surprised. Yeah, I like it too. Sounds real good. I like um, join with little baby. He also trash. Why? Nope. Because we're not shitting on it. You don't like Jack Harlow's album? Oh Did no, I, I didn't hear this. One. Oh, you didn't hear this one either? Mm. Damn, you don't be hearing nothing. No. I'm not going to either. Why? Why is that? Because I have better things to do with my time in the pandemic. Then listen to music. Yep. It's like actually what? like the perfect thing to do in the pandemic. Fly something out. Now they want to tell me what to do in the pandemic. Can y'all talk about Jack Harlow, please? Oh, I like it. it sounds just, like I said, I don't listen to this one one time, but it sounds good. I like. Yeah, it. I thought he'd be super poppy, but he had, he, get, he got in some pockets. Uh, Harry Frog got a dope beat. Yeah, on yeah. There. I was like, production was poppy. He's on two huge pop singles right now. So yeah, but I know I know like what the I know rest of his music, music isn't isn't really. Don't I've never listened to the rest of his music. Don't jump into white on white crime. Huh? Don't oh, this, 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 is, <laughs> this is white on white crime. White on white music debates. Mm. <laughs> white on white music. I mean, he's no M. <laughs> <laughs> is he better than G Easy? <laughs> no, the album is good. I, I fuck with the album. I fuck with, with Jack Harlow. And Every album that came out is good, man. No, I wouldn't say that. Well, I'm t- just talking about this week. What came out that was bad? Which which album didn't you like, Joe? 
I just said every album that it. came out this week was good. Oh, uh, but you can't say that because you didn't hear every album. And I can still say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Jack Harlow has a good album though. Yeah, Sounds good. Production it. is good. He talking this shit on there. I like it. Yeah. Shout out to Brady. He got one on there. I think Yeah Ali wrote something on there with Chris Brown and Jack too. So shout out to Yeah Ali. I like that record. Yeah. He put out a project, Private Suite Three. I didn't hear this one yet. Shout out to everyone in the industry we have relationships with. I have no relationship. I have with no Jack. relationship with Jack Harlow. I didn't say nothing. I didn't say nothing. What? Or Kid I didn't Cuddy. say a word. I don't I know. With, yeah, I don't know. Ali yeah, Ali is an artist in person. So yeah, sure, you got me there. No, yeah, Ali is my nigga, but I didn't hear. I didn't hear the project yet. But I will check it out though. Okay. Somehow Fetty snuck another album out, and no one seems to know about it. I had zero clue that Fetty was putting music out. He's and, put out two projects this year, I think, and I don't think I've seen any human being talk about them. And, and that's I, pretty crazy. That's, that's weird to me. That's weird. Well, but why? Why is it weird? What, when was Fetty's run was what year? I think, what, 2015, 16, somewhere in there? Yeah, 15 would probably sound about right. So it's been five years since that colossal run that he had of just covering Billboard completely in like 10 fucking hits mm-hmm. in one year. But yeah, it hasn't been feel, that way for... I still feel bad about that. I do. Yeah, me too. Because I think I, that a lot of the music that was, is, is is popping now, and a lot of these artists that are popping now, are offsprings of Fetty. I was, and, and I, was I was saying yeah. it in the moment, and boy, did I sound like the biggest nuthead hater in the world in the moment. It was a but, weird strategy. But I was like, yo, oh, when they emptied the clip, yeah, yeah. you but, didn't but, need to do that. But if you just get back to that time in music, I sounded like the biggest hater in the world, yeah. Joe. Hmm. Well, st- I mean, streaming had started to completely take over if, at that time. If so, you had eight records, right, that you thought was that shit, and and they were, and you were right, yeah, no way on God's green earth are you putting all of those records out in a year. I don't know. Let me not say I don't know how somebody at three hundred convinced him to do that or did it without him really knowing what was going on. But boy, did they rob him of an opportunity! Well, I think it, uh, a lot of those cases they were records that he was releasing just on SoundCloud before he was, was even say, affiliated. Yeah, with I'm not 300. gonna totally put this on three hundred because I feel like Fetty put a lot of those out by himself. Yeah, nah, not a lot of them. A good majority of how many were on? Yo, I hate doing this, but go to his IG. Five. Let me see the uh, the streams. His, you know how they put their little numbers up for the year. Oh, he probably they, they still numbers up. <laughs> look at you, Hayden. No, but that's it. Look at those. That's, that's crazy. Still pretty good numbers. Yeah, yeah. Three hundred and nineteen million streams. It's insane. Yo, when actually now that now that y'all bring this up, when I think about the decade in review, because I always go to that, uh, that uh, longevity House thing. of Balloons. Oh, okay. Take care era. What was that? Twenty eleven. Twenty ten to twenty twelve. Twenty eleven. The Fetty era is pretty high for me. Yeah, he it had a fucking run. Yeah, but I never, well, we on, never let's, mention let's, it. Let's define an era. Well, we know the run, but that moment in time encapsulated in hip hop. It was a year. Meant a lot. It, oh, meant, yeah, it sure. meant a lot for me. Well, my girl's from Patterson. She like saw his ascension and shit and like is friends with his friends and all mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So like maybe it's a bad judge, but she still plays that music. And I still like, this shit was banging. Like this was a hit record. You know what, what? it's similar to? To me, like, it's kind of similar to A Boogie. Okay, I can see that. Yeah, like a boogie from the Bronx. Like Shit. people, people, but, people knew saw him. Like they saw the sound clot. Like, stop it. Go but, out of here. No disrespect to a boogie, but stop it. No, it's, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It's he similar. would die for one of those. I think that. No, what I'm saying is, it's ter- in nah, terms he's had some, of he's had some big records. Yeah, and he's had a longer has, career. He has not. Nah, he has not. I, I think. Queen. I think Fetty would die for the a boogie career. No, no, I'm just talking about. I don't know that. As far as I, just, to, just see it coming from SoundCloud and I, blowing up like well, that. Well, I don't Sound wise, to me, uh, the baby would also be a, a, a correlation that I can make because of the fact that Fetty's stuff was kind of more major key, happy, mm-hmm. bop sounding. I see, mm-hmm. and I see what you're saying. Yeah. No, I, I get that correlation for sure. All right, so you think because. Because I feel like Fetty now, a lot of times artists will have this crazy year and then the sound of music will change and they'll no longer be relevant because they don't make that sound of music. Uh-huh. Fetty now, all of the Trap Queen, 679, My Way, all in 2020 could live and it would sound perfectly fine. Yeah. yeah. Do you think because <sighs> he had to sustain it. the I amount of it. hits that he did at one time is why he started to fizzle? I found Because the this sound of music way. works... Now I'm going to reply to you. I'm sorry, camera people. That's my stomach. I'm going <laughs> to reply to that 
And I think I found the perfect way to explain some of my issue with both Fetty and Cuddy. Hmm. And that is that in this microwave era, and before I say this point, let me just say that being a fucking music critiquer or whatever you call this shit, boy, is it a tough, tough, tough job in 2020. Like yeah, it is. It is. And I don't think that conversation has had enough either. Which it's you tough sensitive, because so, so you much sensitive music comes fuck. out. Yeah, it's a lot of music comes out. You can't hear it all. Mm -hmm. The artists are sensitive. Well, that's there's, always There's only the but so many platforms that can and will discuss your shit. Like, it's a tough time. And this year particularly has been difficult because and this, yeah. there hasn't been a lot of, like, blockbuster kind of releases. A lot of good music, but yeah. not, like, no Drake, Cole, Kendrick, Beyonce, Jay, mm -hmm. none of like the super duper 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 stars put out music this year. So mm -hmm. it's been a weird year musically. Yeah, the year's been dead. I be wanting to tell these fucks that to tell me that, that we fell off. I'm like, fan, no, y'all fell off. The year's been trash. It's dead. Podcasting is like a reactive type of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes. But listen, back to my point. And I should in this been. in this microwave, in this microwave era, the part that never dawned on me was now you only you get and even even more of a limited amount of time with your sound. Hmm. As opposed to back in the day where maybe you would have had a longer run with your sound and style. It, it, people catch up and a lot quicker. A lot. They figure out your lot, formula. They a fast. Lot they fast. And and for me, when that happens, you have to guard against it. Yeah. Like it's great to inspire and it's great for people to it's great to do that. But you have to be prepared to take your sound and elevate it. For sure. I think of that a lot in terms of us with the podcast. Like, in February, we'll be going on seven years after our six-year anniversary. Uh -huh. And it's like, okay, we've been doing this for X amount of time, and we've been the best for X amount of time. Mm -hmm. That's not enough. How do you improve on yeah. being the grow, best? For sure. Or grow, change. Or your style or your sound. And for me, both of these gentlemen... For different reasons, seem to have let that get away from them in this microwave era. Because Rory's right. The sound is still there. Yeah. How they are producing their sound may indeed still be the same. Mm -hmm. It just don't sound the same for me today. I we felt Cuddy's album, uh, he kind of tapped into more current sonics. Yeah, at least on the first half. From what I heard, I agree. I felt like Cuddy not went... I can't say went in the Travis Scott lane because so much of what who Travis Scott is as an artist is because of Cuddy. Uh -huh. I felt like he went more in what his See, sound has developed into. But that's you, in my opinion, in your backpack bag. How so? Because you're right about that if you get to the core of it. But who's doing it better? Oh, I mean, I think there's been plenty of artists you can say have taken a style and done it better than the person prior to well, that. I, well, that's why I'm telling you where what my position is because I would feel like a fool to come in here and say the things that I've said about uh, let's, about Janae Aiko and her last project. Uh -huh. That whole argument I made about that family tree and some of your some of your some of your sons and daughters yeah, are doing it better. Yeah, like, I, I I, like if I'm going to say that about, about that beautiful woman uh -huh. then I ain't going to not say it when I feel it about Cuddy too and you, I do. You know what's I do. You know what's I do. About I do. That? I do. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Cut Hive. I think that on this that's, album, that's he, and maybe, oh, go ahead. Why that, is that unfair? That's super unfair? I disagree because, with that on this because album. Because the person going right through the door first is trying to figure the sound out. It's a brand new thing. They don't know what's going to work about it. They don't know what people are going to gravitate to more, what um, they can change in it because they, they have no point of reference. So when you have someone like Cuddy that creates this sound, yeah, you have people like Ye and Travis um, and shit damn near the moody R&B now to figure out what is good about it, what they like about it, what they can evolve in that sound, change that sound. They know what works with that sound. Yeah, it's mm. not fair to the person that started it. They don't have the same point of reference as the person that comes after. Or so what? So what? what? So what? It's, what, what, it's unfair what, what, to say, why didn't you I don't develop the sound so much more? I invented the fucking sound. You, These people took it and realized what was good and bad about it and developed it. That's, that's how music that's works. That's how even, anything works. Not true. That's how sports works. Not true. <laughs> not true. I don't I don't believe that because you created something, you're exempt from improving upon it. No, yeah. that, well, that's not what I said. That's that not is, what I said. That's I, exactly no, no, what you that's said. Not what I said. I said. You said he created it. So I said it's not. So what? I'll say it's not what I said. Can I say what I said? A quick sidebar to break up you guys bickering about what you said. Uh, Part of the issue with that uh, 
the argument of developing a sound and creating is everyone has the same tools now. Like talking about how back in the day you had a longer time with your own sound. Everyone has access to the same exact shit. Same drum sounds, same output uh, synth sounds, same auto tune plugins. That's yeah, part but, of the reason but how you're why. Gonna, how you're going to use it is what makes you a great sure, artist. But, yeah, of no course. Doubt. I mean, everyone has Pro Tools, but how you I develop agree it and, change, and do what it's not supposed to do but there's is a what lot makes of people you a genius. That, there's a lot of people that just fall into the, okay, this is this is what people are doing. I'm going to do this. I just think Yo. there's more, more of a luxury to take from a, a proven sound and develop it and change it and grow it and take it to the next level than the person that has to come in with just ground level. I'm inventing something completely new that has not been proven. Yes, yeah. I think it's easier as the next person to to develop that sound and that's the point of the next person is to take it to the next level. For sure. You want everything to keep growing and no, developing. No, that's your job too is what I'm saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, no, you, you pass the baton yeah. and the next man should should be able to improve upon it. Yeah. Uh-huh. But, I, more but importantly though, I do believe it's your responsibility as well to keep elevating. To, no, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. But at, at the same time, that's what artistry is about. Yo, let me just tell you niggas out there and I'm going to let you, I'm sorry, I'm going to cut you. Let me tell you, hey, hey, you rappers out there, all of you, if you put the Travis Scott ad lib in your song, <laughs> I'm going to think about Travis Scott. Yeah. What the fuck is difficult about that? I don't think I'm the bad guy for that. No, not at all. And if you make me think about Travis Scott, the bar is hot. Yeah, you better be better. <laughs> so what do you want me to do, Parks? I, I, like, I put the nigga out on money. It was a, you know I, the I, I ad know, I know exactly what you're you talking about. You know that. I know that. Anytime I am. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Whatever the fuck that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you talking about Cuddy? I'm like, oh. I get it. I so, understand. I mean... It's just tough. It's, it's tough for it's tough for me, and I, and I don't want that to come out like hate. So it forces me to come in here like and try to suppress certain shit, even though people are coming here to hear me talk about certain shit. But fuck uh-huh. y'all, man. <laughs> That's how I feel. I would like to talk to uh, Fetty Wap. We need to talk to him. We need. To I would like to. I would like to see what. I need, I need to know. Like, I, see, yeah. I don't. I don't need to talk to him. I know exactly what happened. Well, you're an artist, so you can. You know yeah, what I, mean? I know exactly what happened. But was it was it which, an which artistry what? thing or? Yes, it okay. was large. Remember, I came in and told y'all, listen, pump it up, flew, and then they wanted me to uh, make another album, but no. <laughs> no. And that was me at a much lower level sure. than what was happening with Fetty. Fetty started dating a lot. Uh-huh. He was out a lot. He was traveling a lot. He was partying a lot. He was spending a lot. I'm not counting nobody's money, mm-hmm. but I'm looking at what someone is doing with their time. Mm-hmm. And no, nah, he did what... All of us do at that age after some success. We tricking off. We out of here. We not the same amount of energy is not exhausted or invested into our craft. That, without speaking to Fetty or knowing anybody involved with Fetty, that is where I stand on Fetty. But I'm loyal to Fetty because of what he did and where he did it from New Jersey. Absolutely, mm-hmm. Patterson. He killed man. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it just always is interesting when you think about it. And like I said, I didn't even know he was putting out a project. And was just talking about him not even two days ago, and I was like, "He put out another album this year that was pretty good." No, I know, but I'm I'm more so like he because when he dropped, uh huh, his sound shook the building. Yeah, and it's like you don't really, and it was only two years, maybe yeah, not even. So it's just kind of like it just you know as a music lover you just start to ask about yo what happened. Like, I could be wrong, but I think that at one point he was maybe getting away from some of the crew and producers that he was working with at first. Mm-hmm. But I think that he's gone back. I saw People's name shout out to People's on the new album, and I'm not sure if they've been working back together for a long time or mm-hmm. what. Wasn't mm-hmm. there some internal shit between him and? There may have been, yeah. Mont- I, know, I think him and Monty. Monty's, Monty's yeah. on the new album though. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. I heard they back like the crew is kind of. I, I don't know so. to what extent, but I heard he, you know, back fucking with day ones so. and all of that. So I would just be curious if there was like some business shit that happened, maybe with the crew or maybe with the label or the industry or something, because he does still make good music. Mm-hmm. Where's the disconnect? Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that he, he's going to have yeah, another run like Trap that, Queen. They gave that man a three to five million dollar publishing check after record three. Uh-huh. No, I'm not going to the studio. <laughs> no. Don't send me a beat. Yeah. I'm out of here. Yeah. I'm gone. He didn't even do a lot of features, if I recall, either. Three million? My yeah. year one, the year and a half ago, I was on SoundCloud? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. I mean, I, I understood that when all just... the babies started popping. I understood. No doubt. Yeah, but that's unfortunate because, it's you know, 
It was something really, really good there. Jersey, we need another one. They, they took Fetty from us. They took Albie from us. God damn it, Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Fetty, Fetty's still around, so I hope that he can find some footing in... I'm going to definitely get into this album this weekend, though. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, no, man. Fetty's not still on 300, is he? Uh, I, I doubt don't it. think so. I could be I wrong. highly doubt it. Let me look at the... Uh... Damn, bring back the days when we were locked into the same label for five projects. <laughs> <laughs> no. no well, label, labels, labels will drop you quick now. He is on 300 still, yep. And RGF. Aha! Aha! 300 and RGF. Nope. And this is why artists want to shoot up labels, allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Allegedly, of course. No, Fetty can't get that again from 300 because 300 got too much going on. And Meg, there's a lot of other people getting that attention now. See, so it don't matter if Fetty can make those same exact records because they wouldn't get the same exact attention. Yeah, that's what that's kind of what mm. I was getting at with, I wonder if it's a business thing right. on the label side slash industry side. Because I think that he's still capable of making good music. From what I've heard from the two albums he put out this year, they might not be super smash hit records, but there's it's good quality music. All right, we are so East Coast. We spent 20 minutes on the new Fetty Wap album. No, it was well, a no, much we were talking about that, that era and how things have changed. And yeah. Much deeper conversation. I know, slid that. right over Travis Scott. Mm. Travis? Did Travis Scott drop something? No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Chose a dick. Did he? <laughs> Don't want to say no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he didn't. Him, oh, and, him, him and Post were quiet. Oh, okay. <laughs> you just won't let Tyler, me. Tyler, the creator. It's a few niggas that was just quiet. I mean. Joe, you were such an asshole. <laughs> Fact. Listen, 38 man. Special. Frank Ocean was quiet, right? Yeah, he was quiet. He's Frank? Been, he's been Frank, quiet. Frank, quiet. Frank was quiet, Frank's right? He's been quiet for a while. All right, quiet. To, to, to your man. point of saying man. Getting, wow. getting a three to five million wow. dollar publishing check, you'd be like, nah, fuck that. I'm not going to the studio. I'm not doing none of that, right? So if Cuddy has a core fan base that is over 100,000 every single time I go out, why am I going to change my sound? And that's where Cuddy just, is. Just hypothetical. That's where, that's where Cuddy is. I'm I not see saying right you, or wrong. I see where you're, where you're just, taking it. Just a hypothetical He's thing. He's taking it back to something I replied to 10 minutes ago, so I'll repeat myself. Just because you are the creator of a sound not the point does not making. mean that you are not responsible for changing it also. You're, you're missing my point. I'm saying if your core fan base just wants to hear this from you, and I know I'm guaranteed this amount of people every single time I go out, this amount of money every single time I go out, the fuck I'm changing shit for? But there's Just a still, hypothetical there's, question there's, I'm asking. All right, great. Plenty, all right, I like it. I like it. That's all I like I'm asking. It. There's been I like plenty it. of artists that have done uh, incremental adjustments where they're not doing a whole set like how Drake changes or Kanye changes. Like now I'm doing and a I think Cuddy has changed a bit, EDM album. Now I'm doing a mm-hmm. whatever, a mm-hmm. uh, 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 right. world music album like Drake right. does. There's artists that have gradually just, they've stayed consistent and they've stayed with their sound, but, you know, tweaked the way they chopped the sample or... You know, perform the vocal mm-hmm. where it's an evolution. It doesn't feel like you're stagnant doing the same exact. Well, shit, I mean, that's what makes Kanye and then the, one of the greatest because every album did, didn't well, no, sound Kanye, the same. That's what I'm saying. He does past huge two. whole scale. Like this one's all synthesizers. This one is yeah. Jesus. This is a Kanye rock changes album. his entire life. And yeah. then on top of that, <laughs> and then on yeah. top of that, what does success look like for the other 95 percent of artists? Because mm. I don't want us to do this with. With Kanye and sure. Drake and well, no, I'm Cole. saying with, with the, Cuddy. the rest of us. Yeah. That are not on that that in that rarefied air to another planet up there. Of course. What does success look like today in a pandemic with touring debt? Like I, I don't I don't know. Probably what I don't know. just said. You come out, you do your consistent a hundred thousand. That's that's and very success. Uh, yeah, Cuddy, I mean? Cuddy has a core that is a, it's a large core audience. That sounds great if I'm independent, if I'm on a label and the splits are a little different. What does that really do for me? Yeah. I'm asking. Honestly. And even if you're independent, like you if need, I were you independent, need some supplemental if, shit to if go If I were that indi- record independently sales. recording right this second and relied on music to pay my bills, there would be four projects in a year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Even if they did 100000 each, and you would have to have a fire merch game. Or if they did 40000 a piece, I still make 1500 a month from Rage. Yeah. If mm-hmm. they did 40000 a piece, all of them, I'm just saying just to get by through the year. Yeah. Everybody mm-hmm. don't have the fire merch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Everybody didn't have the fire tour game. Some of you niggas lying. Oh, we can't perform. Nigga, you wasn't performing before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was quiet. You wasn't yeah, on no circuit. I'm niggas. sick of some of these <laughs> yeah, niggas, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I'm just quiet. saying it's a lot yeah. It's a lot to Same. account for you, you put out there. 30 people in SOBs. 
Yeah. That, well, was your, that was your New York show. Yeah, we so, but well, that's my. So there's a separate conversation about how the uh, the mega festivals were inflating a lot of people's tour shit, but that's a whole deeper, Fair. darker. Yes, <laughs> that's a deeper, darker. But that's my other thing about critiquing music during a, a pandemic, 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 whatever you want to call it. It's like I there's not one musician out there that I want to lend my voice mm. to interrupting their flow right now. Mm-hmm. I just don't think it's the time for that. All right. Yeah. Like, even if, nigga, so what if you put out a bad album? Hey, we was, I was killing Paul George for his play in the bubble, but I get it if you're depressed and you're away from pussy and, and even you got the bad everything. <laughs> We're going to talk about that. <laughs> now, now, to talk about now that. They, they paid that, man. We're going to talk about But what I'm saying is, with well, all this, so. why doesn't Cuddy get a pass for being depressed and not changing his sound? <laughs> what the fuck? Paul George That's his sound. sound. But not Cuddy? And, and I don't even like that point of him saying uh, the, the creator doesn't get any type of pass for that. There's so, do you feel that way about all early hip hop artists for not changing their sound, even though they created the blueprint for what we use now? Well, no, you interrupted me, but I was about to, to say. No, I'm not judging these niggas for putting out the mediocre albums during the pandemic when who knows where your engineer is, how you getting beats, who knows how involved your label is, how much yeah. money they giving you. They putting all the onus and responsibility on the artist. We got to pay for everything now off the top. You get 10 grand. Listen, listen it's fucked up out there. It's real right. fucked it's up. It's fucked up out there. So it, it puts me in a in an odd spot to come on here and tell you what I think of music. When truth be told, I'm not listening to music. That's how I well, am handling. To, you listen to old music. No, Joe, listen to, you listen to the music from the people that make good music. No, listen, it's my job to hear to hear things. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's my job to hear things. But in terms of me listening to an album, I got to find the time in the house. I got to mm-hmm. find the time to get to the show I like. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I got to find the time to put the phone down. Like, I just got to find the time now. I don't know how the world got to that, but that's where I am. Me, who loves music like nothing else in this world, right. I don't seem to have time to listen to it. We made this point not too long ago that now, with shit being like it is, we run into what's familiar. Like, I don't have time to sort out and figure out if you're good or not in music yeah. as a new artist. I don't. I'm with you on that. I'm going to my people. Rory coming in here and playing Jasmine Sullivan Sleeper. Guess what? I'm buying it. Hey, I like her. Uh-huh. I like her. I know her. I enjoy her. That's it. These new niggas, I don't. Don't know. Quando Rondo canceling shows, I ain't heard a song. I don't know nothing. That's what Rory's for in my life. But he grew up, so now he don't tell me nothing either. <laughs> I have no idea what Quando Rondo is doing. See? <laughs> see? See? No, I understand what you mean, but it's also... It's rough, man. I think it comes it's back, rough. You just don't trust a lot of these new acts. I think that's what it is. I don't trust the music business because I see all y'all shifting away from music. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The business. Yeah. Not the artists. Unfortunately, we be the last ones to know some shit. But they moving and shaking behind the scenes. December, right before Christmas. Don't let them tell you the industry lockdown shit. Niggas is moving. And I know it. Oh, Can't yeah. tell you guys. Yeah. Can't tell you guys. But niggas is, I've been saying it for a year, they lining up. They lining up chess. They moving around. They setting up for the next five years. I don't know how that looks, but it don't look the greatest for artists. Yeah. That's sad, but it's the truth. It's the truth. Not, not with the label system. Yeah, and he want yeah. me to sit on the fucking shitty, chatty house, these aspiring musicians that, that want to get somewhere and love the craft. I empathize, because I remember being like, hey, Joe, what should I do? What should I do? Nigga, I don't know. I hate this shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. I can't tell you. I, what I'm going to look like handing off some jaded information. I wouldn't know how to function in this shit today. This shit is a mess. It is. Yeah. It is. But the, the answer is work and keep working and figure, do everything, try everything. Own your master's. If, pray, you can. Pray, and, if you can, all of this shit is and, a and fucking. Unless someone gives you a good, a good situation. All of this shit is a one in a five hundred chance of hitting a home run five hundred feet out of the park. Facts. Own your masters. Or you could be the guy that gets a base hit every single time, and and that's okay too. Own your masters. Pray that they become valuable one day, because that's the part the industry don't tell you. All these things. Oh, own your masters. Own your masters. Some of you niggas' masters ain't worth nothing. No. Facts. Have have a blast. You with, don't make good have music. a blast with your ownership. And I would say, don't pray they uh, become worth something. Make them worth something. Yeah, make them worth something. Yeah, and then sell it, and hopefully it affects the market share somehow. Ta da! Ta da! There right. you go. Well, that's the other thing with these fucking lying, misleading words. I got a long list of shit in 2021 that need to stop. 
If I hear another one of you niggas tell me you got a partnership, <laughs> <laughs> nobody wants to say it. I've waited a year and a half for somebody to question it. Niggas don't be having partnership. Uh, nah. No, they ain't got no fucking <laughs> partnership. <laughs> You're signed. Nah, they be having right. partnerships. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you, 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 par- you partnered on the deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They hey, own your shit. Partner in the payment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, since you a partner, you want to partner in something. I'm the yeah. profit. Uh, all right, what else came out? 38 special. 38, 38 special. 38 special. 38 special. Change the game again. <laughs> again. Especially in Green Lantern, uh, hosted and, and you know blended the freestyles together. 1995 was the name of the, uh, you calling this EP or album? Uh, it's an EP it's album. It's like a mixed It's an EP album. He has an uh, album. Yeah. Album coming out, yeah. I think next week. Mm-hmm. Interstate 38, which is phenomenal. Yeah, 38 special. I fuck with 38. I special. feel connected to you because of the instrumentals that you picked on this album. I'll mm. be honest with you. Pick, <laughs> you picked ten of my favorite. I have many of my favorite beats of all time, and then rhymed like murderous drug dealer talk <laughs> on it. Like there's no way for me to not like this. Mm-hmm. Set up to like this is this is great. All I'm saying is. Wow, now we can sell 16s and 24s over our favorite beats? Is that what they're saying? Ta- is that what they You're doing the Rory thing now. <laughs> this is not, though. That's a joke thing. <laughs> yeah. But shout out to 38 Special. Absolutely. Absolutely. I fuck with him. He's uh, had a great year uh, from a production God standpoint. God damn it, 38 Special. Yeah. Yeah. His album that's coming out, I think it's, like I said, next week or the week after is, is phenomenal. This is kind of just like the, the warm up for it. Yeah, he's one of the uh, he's one of the rappers that I I listen to a lot, and I'm like, he's people are gonna start paying him some attention real, real soon. Yeah, no, they already are. He's building, but I mean, like on a different level. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. Like he's gonna start becoming a. Yo, how do life. you build now? Teach me. Tell me about all this shit that, that has just gotten lost in how do you, the what, current. Build? How I mean, I how do you build now? Consistency, man. Consistency, Consistency. is always is always key. Staying and, consistent. All right, well, give me what else is key. Um. Being being good for starters, especially as, eh, especially comes from eh, our era, so he's got like a little bit of a cheat code. Like he comes. I from, think doing good business that's huge. Y'all naming all the shit niggas can't do. Niggas are doing it. Niggas are doing it. Niggas are niggas that are, are successful are doing it. Yeah. You know it's what? Exactly though? I'll, I'll give you one. Get fucking lucky. It's a little bit of luck. Well, part of part of part of being good is being lucky. Yeah, it's a little bit of luck. Part of being good is being part of being good is. Being able to uh, execute on the luck and fortune yeah. that comes your way, take take the opportunity. No, that's not know, what I'm know what to do with the. I'm opportunity. just saying, pure luck is involved in. Being oh no, good. no, but if you if the luck happens and you're not hey, ready for I it, I just told Ian that. But right before I got here, I said, "Hey, for one person to make twenty million dollars, a lot has to go right." Absolutely, I thought that broke. Good business, and I'm gonna think that when I get twenty million dollars. Good business. <laughs> hey. A lot is going right for that for that to occur. Good yeah. business. A shit ton. Good business. Good business. Consistency. Good talent. Consistency. Hard work. And luck. And a little bit of luck. And luck. But little being little able to execute when that luck comes through. And also and also working, just working on whatever it is that you're trying to do. Like always try to get better at what yeah. you're doing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you can be a dope rapper, but you know, start to work on your hooks more. All right, so give it to me start right to now. I'm a new artist. Let's walk through it. God damn it. it. Fuck it. Let's do it. I'm brand new read, artist. I'm in the room. Know the climate. Know I, what's going on in the world. I sure. went to the studio. I made something that me and every nigga in my hood feels like it's a go. Uh-huh. I haven't played this for. I haven't played this for somebody, and they didn't tell me it's a go. Uh-huh. I'm reading. I, I think that's I'm reading, a mistake, though. I think I'm that's reading. A I'm reading faces. Sometimes your hood be wrong. Yeah. I'm reading. Fa- I'm just saying. Everybody <laughs> heard this, and they got the nod in their head. I was looking on the low. I invited some girls over. Caught, caught with the Bible. You mm-hmm. know the shit niggas yeah, do when you testing the record. Don't do that, Roy. No, wait. You got to be careful though, because a lot of people do get inflated uh, sense of. Fire by playing it for people that know them personally, that know them personally, but in a way that is there, there's an art to playing shit for people and getting an honest response out of them. Yeah, sneaking it there's in, like art. you said, we, we have, a, have a playlist, talk play- with ninth <laughs> on, on the app hmm? about playing your music for people. Yeah, and how, yeah, you may want a certain response from a certain person, but they're not even into that type of genre, right? So you're just gonna get the oh, no, it's cool, it just ain't for me type thing. You have to know exactly. Who your what type of audience you want this Read music to room. be for, and that's the type of people that you need an opinion from. Well, now you want people to identify the their room. audience. Yes, yo, yo. Uh, that, that, it that, is that, tough. Yeah, it tough. is tough. Yeah. But listen, okay, I got this record. I did what I had to do. Let people hear it. I think it's fire uh-huh. today. What do I do? What do I do with, with this record? It's mixed. It's mastered. I don't know nobody at radio. I don't have a relationship at the streamers. Uh, SoundCloud. 
Uh, no. More, everything. I spent my whole Every- career making this record. You want me to just put it out on SoundCloud? Yeah, absolutely. And then get back oh. in the studio and do another one. Make but, another one. And oh. don't put it on just F- SoundCloud. Put it on every single oh. thing that exists. I can see why niggas don't listen to niggas with experience. No, I would never do that. It. Well, you, you, have, have, you have to keep that. holding that that's record that's big... fire and the world ain't gonna hear it. Until I get another one. No, that's a, oh, and nah. that's 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 a, you talking to the person's talent now. Well, I'm talented, so I mean that's I'm okay. So if you got another if, one, if, if you're talented, you. Oh have no, 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 no! But I'm, all right, no, no, I was talking about Joe Budden, but no, I'm the new artist guy now. I ain't so fast to relinquish my record. People oh, no, got to people got to hear you. <laughs> people got to hear you for free. <laughs> Absolutely. No, oh, you no, niggas no, would no, fail. Put it, put it for you free. niggas would you fail. Is yeah. write a song. You have to put it on free and sale and yeah, every, you, you have gotta, to put it every fucking. You have to do everything. And then all right. And then what? And then what? And then what? And then what? Because maybe y'all got a plan. And then what? All right. I put my shit on SoundCloud now. What? I'm watching. Do it again. I'm watching numbers. Oh fuck you. First of all, it doesn't cost you money to put it on somewhere where you will gain money like it's a different it's not like when you were selling mixtapes no just give it to them for free in time put Square. it out you can put it on any streaming service just you don't just have to put it on sound okay. make it free. stop holding this so music what, like okay. y'all are talking about a whole there. like put it out listen to us no listen if, if put you the have fucking, a song, if you nice put the music out to the world listen to us put the music out the world no, will let you know if you good yeah. Joe well, you kind of just went over when I said identifying your audience yeah I think that's a first step because how you market things especially as a new artist you should start with a smaller group to go after that's how you build. We use the word build. You start with the small group. I think this is for this specific type of person. So let me identify that type of person, and I can market this a little bit better because I know what they like and how they take music in. Is it is visuals? Is this a record that needs a visual to put out? Spoken is this like something a true marketing just, guy. That's very difficult to do for the average human being, by the way. Especially, sure, uh, especially artists. There's, <laughs> all, there's so many records that I get to mix from people, and they're like, yo, I want it to sound like Drake. It's like, you know that you sound like... You flake, but but that <laughs> no, it, doesn't, you sound, but, it doesn't take a marketing you sound, guy. You sound like Travis Scott, and those, that's not the same. You know, whatever. Right. When, when Joe is saying that in, in this hypothetical scenario that everybody in his hood liked it, you have to for the people you're playing it for, you have to figure out that type of person. I don't know if this is a machine or a person. This is the one and only man. I didn't I didn't get to any answering service yet, man. This is Buck Steezy, man. Buck Stallion, this is Joe Budden and friends from the Joe Budden Podcast in the middle of a very important conversation. How are you doing? I'm doing great, man. Here doing we, great. Hey Buck. In, what up, Buck? In, in two thousand in two thousand and seven, I came yeah. to you because you wrote a song that a lot of people thought was a really great song, right? That is correct. That is correct. I attempted to purchase that song from you, right? Yes. yes. Or at least tried to open the conversation to do so, right? That's correct. Me needing a single at the moment, thinking I had the right amount of momentum to amplify what was a really, really, really good record. You, as an aspiring act... With this record that you thought was a smash, that a lot of people thought was a smash, 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 opted to hold on to the record, right? Yeah, that's how it kind of ended. There was a few tan- intangibles there. We don't care about that. I'm only speaking to why. As a new artist with this record that a lot of people thought was a smash, I'm trying to talk to, I asked Maul and the fellas here, hey, if I'm a brand new artist and I got a record that we all think is a smash, what's the first thing I should do? They said I should put it on SoundCloud or the streamers. I, playing devil's advocate, said, well, if I'm a new act with with this one smash, I would never do that because I wouldn't want to let my record go. And that got me to thinking about you. But in the long run, you never put that record out, did you? I never put it out. That's what happens. That's why you can't hold on to shit, especially in this. and And that is what happens. Yeah. There's Put a lot the of the fucking music out. I hate when niggas have a record and everybody loves it. Like, nah, I don't really know what I want to do. Put the fucking music out, man. And you know, really, you hey, can you blow know, it by the, putting it out too early well, without. A well, it's, it's too. It's many ways of looking at that. Um, sometimes when you get a a golden egg is a golden egg because it's made of gold, and sometimes you just don't get another golden egg. So if you just like, if we want to reference Joe, right, and we look at a record such as pump it up like we're being creative and putting out music sometimes the reality of it is is that sometimes you just cannot create another golden egg no matter how creative you might think you are sometimes 
it it's just doesn't hit legs. that way. So, like how pump <laughs> it up was created. But he's expressing no, the he's mind right. state. I know. Even if it's wrong. Yeah. He said you had right. But that's with anything. If you a fucking little league baseball player and you can't get a hit, you're not on the fucking team anymore. Yeah. And you know what's funny? I said to like, Buck back if then. If you ain't got about it, you this, ain't got it. Go try something else. That's I said to line. Buck back then about this record. I said, yo, you're going to hold on to this record and the sound of music is going to change and it's not going to be the same record anymore. Yeah. And then that happened. The sound changed. But I only bring it up, Buck, to tell you, I think the sound is right back. Yeah. That sound from sound. that record with TikTok and all this other dance crazy that's how, shit. That's how this shit works. Hey, sound, can sound I play some of that sure. record? You ain't doing nothing with it. What the fuck are you going to do? That's <laughs> not. You <laughs> <bought it. laughs> what the fuck are you going to do? They say ain't do nothing but collecting dust in your house. All right, listen. Buck I don't even know where that record yeah, is. Yeah, he don't even know the name of the record. Like, yeah, you got it? That record would have <laughs> <send it to me. laughs> <That laughs> took me to the moon in 06. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Buck, we love you, man. I'll call you later. Peace, Buck. Yeah, yeah, I am going to play some of that record. You have it? Yeah, I have that. Well, uh, copyright it in two minutes. Copyright it where? <laughs> <laughs> it's recorded. It's copyrighted. Send it to yourself in the mail. It's copyrighted. Yeah, no, remember when they said that? I am going to play shirt? a little bit of this record. Well, wait, before you play it, Buck is my man. I love him. Can, if it's trash, can I say it's trash? It ain't trash. I, I, it's not what but I But wait, wait, time out. Of course you can say it's okay, trash cool. if it's trash. But listen, remember... This was in 06, yeah, this was 07. Yeah. You, I know. Do you okay. have... Nah, get your I know, ears. I know exactly get your what ears. the sound was in 06 and 07. Really? Yeah, absolutely. Of course you? I remember that yeah. time. Rory? Absolutely. absolutely. Yeah. All right. Objectivity. Absolutely. Buck Stallion. Uh-huh. I love it. Tons, we here. There's something about that girl right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You've always looked for this way she to be your, grew, your one. Huh? You've always looked for this, one of these. This is kind of your single chase. Fam. Yeah, you've always looked for one of these. As someone who's been there while you were looking Man, for this, this could work this now. This Jersey thing. This could work now. Hold up. But, but forget about Buck for a minute. Just listen. I know how to listen to it, Emma. The fans probably don't, though. Girl, you turn me on. Damn, girl, you turn me on. You're not trying to turn me on. So I don't know why. And killing your own. This is hard now. I do anything to get my feel on. You make me want to get my freak. That's right. Make me think of things to see. You do some things. It's a very Jersey record in those Well, you have to. You have to. I'm from Jersey. No, no. I'm just saying. Oh, six ears. Oh, six ears. Oh, six ears. Of course. And demo ears. Yeah. Listen to that like it's a Yo, reference. Buck, Buck being your Quentin Miller is hilarious. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, I get it. It sounds good. It sounds uh, good. I don't know if that would have worked for you, though. Yeah, in 06? <laughs> Shit. Uh, no, Are the you little, kidding me? Listen to if me. I get Buck voice off or got Buck voice off like of this, I had a record. did mine. Man. But anyway, I only you know, read a couple of couple like that. that, that record, but no, you would you would have become a, a caricature of yourself. That would have been Chris bad in the long run. Who? Young Chris. Okay. Young Chris what? Chris had a few the, the record, like, no, like that. No, Joe had a record with Young Chris that I believe Frequency produced that was kind of in that lane. I'm that just, was a mid-2000s. Spacey sound, but, 808, but listen, trying you, to get if, a single yeah. If sound. you hear what Buck said, that is the fear that most artists live with. Sure. It's not that 5% that know. No, absolutely. Hey, I'm going to talk about that as a producer. Like, I've held on to beats forever. Like, oh, no, nah, this one got to have Ghostface on. It's got to have Nas on. Yeah. Whoever the fuck. Yeah, no, That's the gotta, dumbest shit in the fucking you have world. To, you put have that to, shit out. You have <laughs> to put the fucking music up. Like you said, Joe, the sound changes, the time changes, the moment changes. This artist now who've, who've recorded in January... And want to put out their album in December, and they have to go back and change that whole yeah. album that they had recorded in Jan because it's already dated already. It's Facts. not the year is not even over. Yeah. So you have to put the music. You cannot sit on music and, and just plus, think that oh I'm gonna wait. Nah, you gonna wait, and then that moment is gone, and now nobody even want to hear that sound. Now niggas gonna be looking at you like plus a you nigga can do that just it came home again. That's well, the, I, the beautiful I, thing about art and being a creator is you can keep doing it. I feel for artists right now. Do it again. I, I feel like right. so many artists have sat on their music in 2020 because they didn't want to put it out with. Uh, the fear of the uncertainty of how it'll be. Up and See, now, now this, so now, now might be this I kind of disagree with. I, I might be with them on this. You know, I, I actually agree about, with this take. Established artists or... you well, either, either going to hold your album or over-release music. Well, I, yeah. didn't, I, didn't, I, I would roll I with over-release. I ahead. didn't finish. I was saying I feel for them because they may have created... Let's just move... <laughs> <laughs> it's frustrating, I know. I'm a kid. I know. It's fun. <laughs> and I'm in a bad mood today. Um... 
I feel for them because if they created something in January of 2020 thinking they were going to put it out in June of 2020, they've been listening to the same record over and over, and it may be an amazing record, but to them it feels dated, and they won't put it out in 2021 when it is time for them to release music. Mm-hmm. That's ha- so, that a lot, a lot. so a lot of artists, I think, are going to be sitting on really good music, and they'll be sick of it, so they won't, uh, won't want to put it out. That happens to artists a lot, where they, they have something that may even be more than six months old. It might be six years old. And they're like, nah, we can't do that with this. This is old. It's like mm-hmm. no one else. It's not old to nobody else. Right. As long as it doesn't have like a, a, a timely, you were kitschy, ch- ch- chasing the, the super auto tune vocal, uh, you know, in 2009. Or and you're not the, talking about this trendy snare shit. drum. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's certain shit that super dates a record. Yeah. Or super topical. Yeah. We talking about punchlines that are like. While, yeah. while we're in our music geeky bag, I this love is it. Nerdy. I'm not mad at it on a Saturday, though. Yeah. I'm not mad at it. I love nerd music. Too. While we're in this music geeky bag, I have a few very short, brief announcements for anyone that needs to hear them. Uh, damn. Just that fast. <laughs> I thought this could be an announcement of us making a diss track back for the Redditors. I don't even know if I want to give light to that. Even though, even though he platform. killed us. <laughs> Damn, what was y'all just talking about? I had two really good uh, dating, Dated music. Yeah, putting out music, being scared to put it out because it feels dated. Oh, got it. Buck Stallion two being a hilarious name. very quick. <laughs> why you should have gave me that record. Two very quick short Bucky announcements for anyone who needs to hear this. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Meg bit from Buck? <laughs> Buck the Stallion? He is Buck the Stallion. <laughs> That's, that's nasty. Buck V. He was Buck Stallion. I know, but y'all, that's, come on. And now here go Meg yeah, yeah, stealing his sauce. Yeah, yeah. Let Meg have that. And be talking about how she turned on. Announcement number one. And he was the first Stallion to get turned on. <laughs> <laughs> Announcement number one to anybody that needs to hear this. Contracts are changing. What? <laughs> if no. you don't know it, you're somewhere you shouldn't be. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I only know because I've seen a few and I can read them. So I'm only pointing this out because Kanye said whatever he said about the contracts and contracts be fucking all you niggas up and none of us have ever seen a legible contract. I'm here to tell you in the next few years, you should see shorter form. Legible contracts. Hit a round of applause for me. What, you think that's happening? It is happening. Oh. It's happening. It's starting to happen. This is the very beginning. Very beginning. Very beginning. Normalize that. Normalize that. That's one. Right? And two, really quick. These seem like very obvious announcements. But for whoever needs to hear it, clout is not currency. Repeat it with me. Clout is not currency. One more time for the road. Clout is not currency. I see, listen, when they say clout, because y'all fool me with the slang shit y'all be doing, like the Gen Zers and the kids. Y'all say clout, and we think of clout chasing, and we just think of niggas seeking attention and trying to get cool. But wait, no. It's the reinvention of the look. Mm-hmm. This is the reemergence of doing something off the strength and for the look. And for some of you niggas, affiliations and relationships are very important, but y'all need to separate when to go that route and when to go this route. And it's really pissing me off, you A&Rs on that chatty house, some of you. I'm glad I'm going to happen anymore because I feel like those people are You disgusting. niggas are fucking liars preying on the hopes and dreams of aspiring artists, you fucking deadbeats. <laughs> One day I'm going to walk in there and question y'all about what the fuck you've A&R'd. I'm bumping into a and who don't know what A&R stands for. I'm bumping into a and who from morning to night are telling me about what nigga, are you in the office or nah? <laughs> are you at work? Did Craig Cowman call? <laughs> are you on salary? Nigga, <laughs> is your contract about up? Is Who's the last guy you brought in here? A like, tell the truth. If A and R now, and I'm off on a tangent from uh, cloud being currency, but if A and R now means, hey, just go to Twitter and Instagram and check who has the highest followers, and then try to offer them some money, you niggas are trash by pseudo. That's it. Well, it should be. You have to do a little bit of that. Like as as someone who looks for up and coming artists, one of them with, niggas was in there. One of them niggas was in there and ran into the nigga he scammed. <laughs> 
Oh, well, that's a whole different conversation. That's great, though. Man, shut up! But I will say, Niggas as is- someone who's looking for up-and-coming talent, you do want to see that they have some... Uh, Work ethic, meaning they are building some shit on their own. I'm an OnlyFans A and R. You've been there. Spot it's talent, true. develop it, yeah, yeah, nurture yeah. it. I see what you're um, doing. Sometimes okay. give them the budget. <laughs> give get their shit popping off. Give them the good beats. Listen to the album. Yeah, yeah. I'll give them the beats. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll give them the beats now. This isn't, that was this isn't a direct a good one. Uh, <laughs> Chatty House A and R thing, but it is connected to it. Can I read someone's bio from from the Chatty House? Sure. Okay. I'm gonna read this directly. Supermodel, I do it all. High fashion, runway, music, swimsuit, commercial, sports, fitness, print. I also cast direct music videos, parties, such as Chris Brown, Tyga, Drake, Sway Lee, and more. That's facts. That's a... Uh, oh, no, she's like a little... A bad, a bad what did any of that mean? That's a madame. She, no, no, that's facts. You got to read through that. She's just a little Swiss Army knife. That's all she is. No, she's a madame. That's facts right there. Yeah, she, she runs a brothel. Yeah, she's a little Swiss Army knife. Okay. From Switzerland, right? Not Rory, not Rory in women's business. Who said that was a woman? Stop. You said she. Oh well, I don't know. If she identifies that. <laughs> That's true. That is true. She could be fluid. Good play. Speaking mm. of getting in women's business, it wasn't me, and I'm not getting into it because I went into it before and they tore me apart. And I'm not doing it again. Mm-hmm. But I do see what's going on between blank and blank. Oh. If there's the potential of something going on between Blink and Blink. Thanks for clearing that up. I see it from behind the scenes. Does it? Okay. All right. Who's Blank and Blank? Mega Nick. <laughs> something going on as far as Nothing. Musically? Nothing. Moving on. I'm too early. I'm too ahead. Oh. I'm reading into too much. It's too deep. I'm in women's business. And I don't need Nikki tear me up, especially while she's pregnant. Uh, best she's of wishes. She's not pregnant. She, she had a healthy baby. Oh, congrats especially to when she just had a healthy baby. Yeah. Uh, congrats to the queen. Yeah, I'm not getting into that. I ain't going to be the nigga to start pointing shit out again. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> okay. No, 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 no. And not that it's happening. Because I don't know. Can't mm-hmm. confirm shit. Mm-hmm. But you think. You're thinking. That's all. Shit looks away. Yeah. Okay. Shit looks away. That's all. Gotcha. And I'm out of women's business now. No okay. problem. All right. Maul, did you uh did you A and R the three thirty in Houston uh Benny Rager? Mm. Uh no, I didn't A and R it, but you know, he sent it to me when he recorded. On Chatty House, would you say you A and R'd it? No. Okay. He uh he sent it to me a few weeks this ago. This came out just what? That's it. Yesterday? Yes, yeah. It's on the conflicted uh soundtrack. He getting busy? Yeah, yeah he's you like know, it. he's talking about the whole incident in Houston. I hate when artists that I like are on soundtracks. Why? It's Why? their it's their uh their movie. Oh, that's different. Yeah. yeah. That's different. Yeah. Well to well, answer your question why, yeah. as to as to uh why? Because I know how it is when you're just getting, giving a song to the soundtrack. Oh, I mean, for <laughs> sure. But I feel like some... Now, are we... Who can Yo. I'll, I'll talk after, because I think that's a good Yo. Concept. House full of wall art. I pulled up to Walmart. Nigga... No, forget it, man. Forget it, forget it. Yo. Uh. Uh. Yo, get them Yo, ready. Get them ready, some please. of you know me as Benny. Bullets was in me. It was a semi. It, chill, chill. Hey, yo. <laughs> oh, this was the flow. <laughs> oh, I didn't realize what he did. Uh, I ain't peeping. A lookout at Walmart? <laughs> and no, pause that, man. I'm not letting him do that. I'm not letting him do that. Yeah. I'm not letting no, Benny do that. That's a mistake. A, yeah, didn't have a mistake. <laughs> Fam, I'm here to get tank tops. Nah, what the it. fuck do I need a lookout for? Rose, Yo, Rose, you Rose, just got to stop making everything Rose, sound Rose tough. Rolls Royce truck at Walmart? With the, well, I need a lookout. And where would well, the look? Even, you shouldn't even be man, shopping for your own Benny, underwear when you got a Rolls Royce truck. Well, that's the question. That's the real statement is that I needed a lookout at Walmart. Only one mistake. He didn't have a lookout. No, nigga. Stay your ass home and send your man yeah. to go get the fucking tank tops, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> Keep Love you, Benny. Take me out the hood, but can't take the hood out. Love you, Benny. Love you. Now, look out at Walmart. It's hilarious. I just, that's talent. Having to look out at Walmart? <laughs> no, <laughs> coming up with that. Yeah. <laughs> that's Only one said. mistake that I made. I, did, <laughs> I see what he did. <laughs> yeah, this thing is nice. Go ahead. Nice. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Oh, 
Hey, pause this. Pause this. <laughs> this guy's good. Yeah. This yeah guy's he's pretty good at rapping. This guy's good. You can rap, man. <laughs> well, why the hell did you have a quarter million of jewelry going to Walmart? That's what he's saying. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. I'm only saying it now that he's saying it. I would have yeah. never said that if he didn't say it. <laughs> that's, that's a mistake. Take me out the hood. We can't take the hood out. That's it. Ben. Yeah, it's a mistake. Right, a lot man. of rappers make. <laughs> I wore my jewelry to the spade game, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I got to go ahead. You learn. Fuck it. Right you on learn. Linux. <laughs> <laughs> what an idiot. Oh, man. It's dope record, man. Yeah, 3.30 in Houston. I lifted my chain. It ain't even hit my head. That shit was all net. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga took that shit off you. Hey, at least... <laughs> Hey, when you take your shit on smooth when niggas got the toaster, yeah, that means you nervous. Like, man, let me, I don't even want them to think I'm trying Yo, to take this shit. He, he took that shit and ran. I waited a couple seconds and ran after him. Five seconds later, I said, nigga, what you running for? That nigga's, hey, he's gone. Hey. Yeah, he's gone. He's out of And even if you catch I mean, him, he get the hammer still on. Yeah, yeah. Say, he hey, bop out, bop out, nigga. Yeah. If you don't go back and bid your hand, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, you had four books before I showed up. <laughs> You'll get that chain back. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yo, the look on my face when I finally got to the right dude in the projects to tell me what happens. Like, yo, that shit is gone, my yeah, nigga. Nice <laughs> that shit, that shit got melted an hour after. <laughs> yeah. you. Like, wait, I didn't, I didn't move fast nah, enough. Nah. Shout out to that guy that breaks it down like real simple. Not nah, shouting. Nah. Oh, that yeah. guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, an important figure. <laughs> but wait, thought, you thought I was gonna shout out the robber? Uh, yeah. <laughs> but wait, you know what's fucked up about getting robbed? <laughs> Even that sentence is outside funny. of the obvious. Anybody can get robbed. For sure. Anybody can get the drop on them. The streets Absolutely. is the streets. That's fine. But, because there's no, once you get over that, once your pride is not affected by that, you're cool, right? Mm. The, the, the pride and the issue comes in when years later you were just at the spot at a party with mad, bad bitches and just happened to be a few Harlem niggas that know about what happened and they bring it up. Yo, you ever found out about money? Yeah, no. Nah. <laughs> You never got up with money. You did that nah, shit. No, nah, no, nah. nah, I'm actually trying to forget about it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying not to relive that nah. anymore. <laughs> now nah, I got niggas in front of his house right now. That's funny. He moved down south. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Why is it they always oh, move down south? Oh, damn. Let me tell my niggas. <laughs> Yo, y'all can leave. <laughs> oh, that is some funny shit. That's some funny. I shit. know. Only I got robbed. Come on, let's move on. I've t we've talked about that a thousand times on here. No, but I, we just didn't have a chain. No, your, worthy your chain, enough to rock. your chain can't lift over your head without touching. That's what it. I'm saying. <laughs> they got to break that shit. No, you have to grab it and punch me out of it. <laughs> Yo, so listen now. <laughs> you Corey, ever see someone get punched out Corey, their chain? Yes, <laughs> it's a hilarious yes, sight. I, have. I feel bad when that happens. Yeah, yeah, that's no, bad. that's crazy. That's bad. I do. That's bad. We was in Miami riding some scooters in like '05. See, that's why you got to not bring, like, tough people with you places. Because, mm. like, the things they get agitated over is, like, quicker. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's, it's fast, right? Yeah. <laughs> we were just having a good time. Man, we was riding scooters and stopped at a light. Right. A bunch of us on scooters, like, ten of us. The niggas crossing the street, just minding his own business. Probably drunk. Now he disrespected him, though. Looked at us on the bikes. <laughs> Man, fuck all y'all niggas. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> he, was, he was having a bad week. <laughs> he had a bad night. Worse. No, he's not. That was, he had a great night. You drunk in Miami? Man, fuck you, niggas. Shoot yeah. flipping the bird. He goes, okay. All right, the light changed. All right, y'all, come on, let's pull up. Here go Duke. Want to put the kickstand on the bike. Oh, man. Yeah. One dude, slowly say... walk over to him. One hit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Drooling on the ground. He's laying there. He can't move. Politely took his chain up yeah, off yeah, 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 on yeah. him. I was like, I got new ice for the night. Him yeah. no, no, <laughs> what no, no, are you no. doing, man? You got some new ice for the night. Yeah. I sped off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I scoot only go forty. I, I, Joe was like, yeah, <laughs> Joe hunched down. Got now you gotta get. The, now you gotta get. The, you gotta get the fast scooter. You ever go to scooter shop and say, "Nah, hey, which one's the fast one?" <laughs> which one you took the governor out of? Yeah, now let me test drive the scooter. <laughs> the fuck out of here. Oh, man. Yo, so listen. This story came out now. Fresher is announcing what happened to him uh, when he got robbed uh, or kidnapped or whatever happened. Thank God Fresher is safe. Fresh, yep. you know what it is. We love you, but got to do a job. And since you talked about it, now I got to talk about it. So he's talking about this. Okay. 
And I have the clip here, but I'm not going to play it because I love him. <laughs> but I, did anyone just look at Steph's face the entire time of this interview? <laughs> Oh, so you did watch this? Yes, I did. Man. Wait, 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 the whole time, yeah. wait a minute, Steph, everything he kept saying, Steph was like, yeah, yeah. wait, 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 Damn. he gave the, he gave the exclusive to the lip service about getting robbed, the kidnapped, no, nah, he didn't sit down with a bunch of no, women, I'm gonna talk about how he, nah, fresh, you a sick nigga, man, <laughs> With his girl too nah, Fresh You a sick nah, nigga man Sitting now. down with a bunch of women To talk about how you got <laughs> Robbed and kidnapped No 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 They didn't even No he went into that On his own Wait oh. so what was they Sitting there talking Look. about <laughs> The <laughs> album Start off by saying Are you okay We saw your Oh no I right, started No but listen He got his album in there And it looked like It was a very vicious attack You could have been kidnapped Angela so. yeah Asking the tough what questions happened? We love you Yeah um, um We just jumped right into it too yeah, oh, we no, jump no, right no, we gonna keep watching uh, that. Uh, but, um, <laughs> yeah, man, it was a um, crazy situation, man. You know, just me. Um, I was actually on my way to shoot a. Um, uh, I got a new show called um, "Just Me and My Bacon, Egg, and Cheese," which is a YouTube show. Which started with me just eating bacon, egg, and cheese outside of my house, and we just watched the engagement. So you know, people was like, "Yo, stop interviewing your friends," and you know, so so um, you know, it kicked off. You know, I did Jim Jones, D One Pop. A couple of other people, you know, and um, we don't need Safari. to hear about who else did the and then, show. Um, you know, we were shooting at different places, stores. You know, Jim Jones shot at the crib. You know, D1 Pop, we shot in the corner store. No. All right, McKinley. All corner. right. So we're like, yo, when the move is definitely give us north. a new scenery every time we do an interview. All right. If you missed what he said so far, Fresher has a sh new show that he created about bacon, eating egg and bacon, cheese. egg, and cheese with various celebrities, and he's filming in different locations. Uh, Everything is great so far. Okay. So, um, so I was on um, my way to shoot. So um tells you that something ain't great coming, mm -hmm. but it also tells you they're gonna try to smooth sneak it in smooth. When so um all right, let's keep listening. Um, one of my friends. Um, my another one. Out there, but um, we was going to shoot, and um, <laughs> him man was taking a minute, so we just sitting outside vibing. You know me, me head. No, it's vibing. No, it's you know, coming. You know what vibing is? Hey, no, 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 no. The cameraman was taking a while. Yeah. So we just outside vibing. Mm -hmm. You never yeah, vibed before? Shit. There's nothing mm -hmm. wrong with that so no, far. No, not at all. A couple other people, we just sitting there for about 40 minutes, man. We in Newark, New Cameraman's Jersey. Cameraman's little... <laughs> That's real late. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cameraman don't give a fuck about bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, 40 minutes. Hey, long time, but yeah, I mean, you got to okay. wait for your cameraman. You forgot the end, forgot the end of the sentence. In Newark, New Jersey. Block, yeah. You know, and, uh, <laughs> about 40 minutes just chilling. And then, um, and then um, long story short... Nah, nigga. Somebody ran up behind me. You know what I'm saying? Ran up from behind, and when I turned around, just just four dudes with guns at me. You get what I'm saying? On me. You know when I turned around, yo, with the keys, mm -hmm. boom, hit me in my face with the gun, like gun butter me mm -hmm. with the keys. Then from there, it's a blur. You get what I'm saying? When I got hit the first time, mm -hmm. boom, with the gun, with the keys. That's the last. That's what I remember. The keys. That's with true. The keys. The keys were already in the car though, because I was we ain't go nowhere. You mm -hmm. feel me? So the keys in the car. We outside of the car. And um, uh, mm -hmm. when I turn around, I see the four dudes with, with guns. They all masked up. And I got hit the first. Like, I mean, it was over from there as far as, like, my eye just instantly shut. All you know right. I'm, I'm just so waiting now, for I'm one part. I'm just my face. You know what I'm saying? Like, because I'm like, damn, they about to leave me on this block right now. No, so, you know, long story short, wrestled to the floor. With the keys, give me the belt. Give me mm -hmm. the money. With the jewelry. You know, you know. what I'm saying? So, and, and my mind, like, it, it's just belt? crazy. So, when he asked me for my belt, I had a Gucci Belt. I went to reach for the belt, hit me again. Okay. Boom, I'm like, oh, nuts. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, they going to have to just take, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, I thought the I'm part the I was floor, waiting for came and, um, already, but it's all happening in about two minutes. Like, like they, okay. they came from Dunno. everywhere, but like, it was, it was just crazy. But Hold up. it all happened in two minutes, but it seemed so long. Like, like, I mean, in my head, I'm going over everything. Like, yo, did I kiss my daughter? Did I, like, did I hug my son? Did I, Real like, shit. like, yeah. did I, did I tell my wife I love her? Mm -hmm. Like, like I'm go yo. This is how slow it's happening. I'm like, yo, nigga, get to the park. When they took, so I had Gucci sneakers on too. They took the sneakers. When they took the, I'm like, yo, they gonna leave me here because like it's nothing. I hear the car speed off. Like jumped in my car. They took my car. The car keys over in the car. So. The jewelry is in the book bag. In the. Oh, right, he's telling a long story. What was the part you were trying to get to? I was in Newark. Oh, the beginning of the story. He said yeah, that in the said, beginning? Yeah, yeah he, said, he said, my cameraman, so we was just vibing in Newark. Yeah. Oh, see, that's the part I was waiting for and I missed it. Ah. Yeah, no, we passed it. Yeah. Can't just pass it. No, that. you don't vibe in Newark. No. 
You well, you can vibe. It's just no, diff- it's a different type of vibe. You vibe. You vibe in Newark while you Listen waiting for your me. bags at the uh, now that fresher and, now and that, that's in Elizabeth. Now yeah. that fresher <laughs> is safe and sound, and I wouldn't stand around Elizabeth. Yeah, no. Oh <laughs> no, no yeah, it's a big fact. <laughs> now that fresher is safe and sound, and now that he's sharing, yeah, more giving, important. giving his testimony, you cannot sit outside on any block vibing and talking to anybody for forty minutes straight in Newark, New Jersey. That's all I got for y'all. I ain't gonna keep coming in here with long, with long lectures about how hungry the streets are. <laughs> I never even thought of it that way. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing. I don't. There's nothing really else to say. There are some places that you can play like that. Newark, New Jersey, is not one of them for Mm-mm. forty fucking minutes. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, I don't recommend. With that. Gucci sneakers on and a Gucci and a belt. Gucci belt, <clears throat> shirt tucked in. And what kind of uh, kind of car do you have? I don't know. Don't matter. Don't matter that no, point. Was a nice Shit, car. I got a belt and kicks. Yeah, they, no, they wanted they wanted the car. That was it. No yeah, fresh. Thank, thank, wanted... thank God you are. Yeah, right, no, man. He is. But man, yeah. Don't do no shit like that again, man. Skip the bacon, egg, and cheese <laughs> that day. And again, to Rory's point, I would never want to have to recant that story with my fiance, my wife, or my girlfriend sitting next to me. No, you gotta no. ask me later. Text me later. No thanks. <laughs> yeah, with three other women, but now they all looking at you like. <clears throat> That nigga said Newark. Stephanie Santiago face was like, oh, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> the whole time I'm watching Steph, she's like, yeah, yeah. this is what would happen. Yeah, yeah. When the Not chick is idea. giving up the hood, you, yo, you can't stand right there for 40. <laughs> like, yeah, no. damn, Steph, I didn't know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Moving on. No, Moving last on. time I got punched in my eye, went back to see my fiance. The hell happened to y'all? Y'all fell. <laughs> you got a lie Fuck that Yeah Nah you can't sit there With your, <laughs> you can't, your tell, you can't tell another man Put his hands on you Nah yeah I fell it's, it's weird how the fall Was just directed To one portion of your eye <laughs> Yeah Ran into the door <laughs> What happened bitch this, this nigga's fist was wilding out I had to really see about it <laughs> I, I didn't go, see if his fist was real I had to go see about This dude fist They were They were my eye socket They, they was real <laughs> Nah they was real y'all Um Damn 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 That led me into uh, Tiny, rest in peace, Tiny. Oh yeah, rest, rest in, in peace. peace, Tiny. Absolutely, rest in peace, Tiny Lister Junior. Rest in peace, man, man. AKA Debo from for most people. Yeah, yeah. No, no, Miss Debo. Zeus for me from yeah. No Holds Barred. Sure. Fair, fair. Yeah, that's when we. That's when us '80s babies remember him. Yeah. <laughs> so when uh, <laughs> so when uh, I read that he passed, I instantly thought about No Holds Barred. Mm-hmm. And as a kid, I was a fucking. I was excited about Hulk Hogan doing a movie. Of course, I see how some of that shit worked on me as a kid. But whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's all marketing. It's excited. still working currently. Yeah, 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 for, yeah, yeah. yeah. So marketing. I go to see Nose Bard with uh, I forgot who I was with, but I know it was my brother's dad that mm-hmm. took us, and the dude behind, that was sitting right behind us before the movie started. This was in at Green Acres. Mm-hmm. He didn't. Um, he didn't like something that my brother's dad did. And he invited him outside <laughs> for a no- conversation. No, they was, they was gonna shoot the Dukes. <laughs> okay, at no holds bar. No holds bar. That's and, why I remember. I and like, by the way, wow. at, at Green Acres Mall, perfect place for, sure. for fisticuffs. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I was like, I really hope my brother's dad got hands. <laughs> you can't watch your brother's dad get scrapped. Then you got to go home and tell your brother. You know what what I mean? It happened before the movie started? Yeah. Because back then, before the movie started, was when it could get active. Niggas throwing popcorn at your head. <laughs> Niggas cracking. That's, hey, when the screen says don't make noise, everybody making noise. That's anywhere where, wherever we're here for, is not like if the club, <laughs> all the music stops and people just standing around, that's when most of the problems start. That's a good point. You got to turn, DJ got to turn the music on. Or the let out. You yeah. Know, exactly. the music has stopped. Exactly. Yo, yeah. and when the movie come on and the movie theater starts showing all the exits in a packed movie, I'll be like, I'm getting there before these niggas. <laughs> 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 I'm getting to that door and that door before anything pops off of here. Yeah. And rest in peace to anybody that lost their life when that fucking lunatic nigga went in Batman and started shooting, man. I think, yeah. I think about that a lot. Oh, oh, the movie yeah. theater? Yeah. That was, yeah. yeah that was... uh, but back to Tiny, man. Uh, how did Tiny pass? Uh, COVID symptoms is what the reports wow. said. All right, so they're not telling us. No, not exactly. But because that would have meant that. Let me not assume, but I mean. Well, he did have he, he had pre-existing he was, conditions. Well, he was battling COVID earlier this year. They said mm. he was um he had dealt with COVID. He battled COVID earlier this year. 
But they said he uh, recently, this this early this week, I think his manager, somebody said that he was experiencing some of the same type of symptoms Shit. that come with COVID. So, got okay. worse quickly and couldn't breathe, felt very weak. Mm. Supposed to work in a movie set last week and had to cancel due to his breathing difficulties. Also canceled a Zoom appearance for a TV festival. That's tough when you got to cancel Zoom. Yeah, that going night, through it. Yeah, that night is when Cohen says friends and family tried to call and check on him, but their calls went on, on unanswered. Yeah. Yeah, when I rest was in uh, peace, man. definitely rest in peace. That it's just tough to it's just tough. No, nah, stay staple in the culture. Yeah. Yeah, everybody know Debo. Yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. Rest De- in peace, Debo became like a adjective. Like of just yeah. don't get Debo. Like the way Word. Ether became it. Like <laughs> Yeah. That's fucked up with the COVID. Like you don't know we still don't know a lot of the long term consequences. Mm-hmm. Whether his death was a result of that or not. Mm-hmm. It's still scary to be like, damn, this shit might kick back in in six months or eight months or something like that. Yeah. Biden says that uh, 100 million Americans or some shit will take the vaccine in the first three months. Joe Budden says not I. I, I say I. You, you won't be one of them. Shoot that Never thing right that. in the damn arm. Never You that. taking it? Absolutely. First day. First day I can. You a sick white boy. No. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm, I'm trying to not be a sick white boy. You not sick. I know. <laughs> what the fuck are you, you talking about? You take a about? vaccine before you get sick. That's how they work. For COVID, he is right there. But for for any, that's how vaccines work. You take them to yeah. prevent like you get you the from flu getting shot sick. to not get the. It got to be feel good to be a white person and trust the government. I wouldn't. I'm not taking. That's got to feel shit. good. Like I'm jealous of that. <laughs> what's like, in it? Do you know what's in it? Because Parks is logical right, right vaccine. now. Hey, the <laughs> vaccine should come before you get sick. And what if I trust y'all, of, come put it in me. I eat food that I don't know what the fuck is in. I've done drugs that I don't know what the fuck is in. I've done fucking blow with strangers in the Lower East Side. You think I'm not gonna get a fucking vaccine? Only way to do blow. Yeah, All of that stuff sounds better and more I mean, exciting I'm glad than the vaccine. Away. I would definitely do blow with someone in the Lower East Side that I don't know before I take this vaccine without seeing what it does to people. I'm not going to be first in line. Well, we're not going to be I first I'm in not line. Even we're fir- see- I'm not even first in line uh, for the iPhone. I got to see what bugs the, they have to work out. You're getting the beta vaccine? No, they're going to they're, they're giving it to mad people they're, before they like They're going to give it to pop. the old people to yeah. see what uh, happens. To the blacks, you saying? I didn't say that. To the oh. blacks. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> try to try to catch him. <laughs> I'm not. I just can't fuck with that. No. My thing is, is people still die every that, year from but the flu. Man, we have a flu shot. We have but a flu way vaccine. less people die from the flu. I understand that. But oh, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, no, we're not. Why are we taking it? <laughs> you are. You are. I'm you are saying, the person you know, that does this with him. I am sorry. <laughs> no, but I, that's why. He, but, but him saying he wants to be the first one to take it lets me know everything about. Can it. we stop to acknowledge that Parks and Maul definitely have their own very unique relationship? Oh yeah, absolutely. all right, good. As long as that's no, clear. but him just saying that explains everything. Why? Like you just trust the government. But your man, your man uh, made this vaccine. You don't trust the. You just said you're gonna first day. You want to. The government take did not make the vaccine. Maul, Scientists why, made Maul, the vaccine. Why should white people? That don't not go trust hand in hand. No, <laughs> not always. Get the fuck out of here. They definitely go hand in hand. Yeah, they absolutely they go hand in hand. They did not one thousand percent. About what? <laughs> why would white people not trust the government? I don't trust no, the government. No, I know a lot of white people that don't trust the government. I don't trust white the government. People, I, I trust white people also shouldn't trust the government. Because they're so bad to us? Because they stand oh, yeah. for us? Yeah. I don't yeah, trust the, the government. I trust here. doctors and scientists. Oh, shit. I trust doctors and scientists, not the government's doctors and scientists. <laughs> the doctors but the government difference. is not making the vaccine. The scientists that work with the government yeah, are making that, it. That were hired they, they, directly by the Illuminati. No, they're not. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? You're just saying things that aren't true. Look at Fauci. I saw it on YouTube. <laughs> look at Fauci and look at Trump. <laughs> <laughs> they're not developing the vaccine, Mo. Oh, no, YouTube right, wouldn't lie to me. They're, they're in the room where it's developed. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to check on the fucking status Man. of shit, photo op. I'm just shit. saying, don't be the first. I've seen enough CSI don't take to it, know. Don't be the first. They ain't got to develop it for somebody to walk back there and drop something in the valves. <laughs> in, in, in a little secret yeah. serum. Small, <laughs> smallpox came from the scientists the government hired. <laughs> yeah, nah, hey, they're going to dump some oil in the vaccine. Yeah, nah, nah. Hey, Madonna, stocks going up, crypto, yeah, whatever y'all be saying. Crypto. Invest now. I can't, I can't Bit- fuck with that. Bitcoin is right here. The vaccine is coming. I'm rich now. Hey, it was only twelve dollars. Now it's five hundred. Oh, let me sell. Shut the fuck up. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sick of yeah. Moderna going up. Told you. <laughs> no, I'm not. I can't fuck with that. Hate you, stock niggas. I'm not taking that. I can't. I can't take that shit. <sighs> Moderna. <laughs> what? I don't. I don't, what? I don't. I don't play. I don't do stocks. So. Really. Mm. But I would understand why people would be investing yeah. in the companies that are making the vaccine. <laughs> Sebi said, "Put some salt and pepper on some cucumbers and eat it three times a day." <laughs> so <laughs> real I mean, that's the best way to eat cucumbers. <laughs> no, that's good. <laughs> that's not too bad. Tomatoes are good like that too. You ever eat just slice tomatoes and just put salt and pepper on? Them? Absolutely, sure. real often. Good. Yeah, real good. Listen, I saw Joe walk through COVID. I'm cool. 
You if you if you can live through that, I'm gonna be all right. This the most unhealthy nigga I know. <laughs> this nigga don't drink Mom, water. Mom, he don't this eat is no a, veggies. Mom. Jamil, <laughs> this is <laughs> irresponsible. You can survive that this is moment, not I responsible. Fight this is a I hey, want to fight COVID no, today. You, no, nigga. you don't. If, what you, you, if you walk through that, it. you walk through that shit without a scratch. You came out clean on the other side of COVID. Well, I nigga. almost died in you my ain't house. Almost died, nigga. Shit. I'm gonna be all right. Fuck that. Fuck that shot. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not taking that shit. Park, I never say that shit because I just don't want them to bring the clip up when I die of me saying that. Oh what? Oh what? You're not taking it. I don't I'm want not going to die from I don't this. want to like bring up the clip of me saying I'm not taking that shit when I get COVID and die. I, so, I, I, yo, I, <laughs> I need a safe in my house because that one night, did I tell y'all that one night that I did think I was going to die, there was some things I didn't want anyone to find. <laughs> Okay. And I was real tight. I didn't have a fucking Did you, did you clear out your, uh, uh, your, I mean, your search history? I'm in shit under my bed. <laughs> I'm in there hiding what? shit. <laughs> under your bed? They're not going to find it in your bed. I'm psycho. Well, <laughs> they would if I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Man. Kid Cudi released his new album, Man on the Moon. I hear a good segue coming. Anybody that, that <laughs> is taking the corona virus vaccine definitely believes we landed on the moon. <laughs> <laughs> You're one of those people. I don't know if I believe we landed on the moon. I'm Fam, not, I, we I, didn't I, land on the moon. What are you talking about? Oh, Think man. about it's the moon. We so? didn't go there. It's right there. Fam, <laughs> we did not go to the moon. Hey, it's a promo clip right here. <laughs> We're talking about the fucking moon. You think we landed on Antarctica? No. <laughs> Fuck, the Earth is flat. Antarctica don't even exist. That's Iceland when you watch the Discovery Channel. I love, uh, I love the white man finding the one place that they didn't get to. <laughs> There's no spices up there. Hey, hey. Look, at Rory. Cool spice? Look at Rory pointing out, hey, that's there still. Yeah. No, there, there wasn't uh, any people of dark descent that we why could take you, over up why, there. Why do whites ain't try that shit with the aliens? No, we did, we did what we do best. We lie and change history. We ain't land on the fucking moon, son. Listen, I know that studio. Yeah, I've been to it in the, LA. The, the, the new, with it? Let me let me report the news. China, <laughs> China, 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 China. <laughs> China releases images of its flag on the moon as spacecraft carrying lunar rocks lifts off. Fan, that's a video game. <laughs> that is a video game. It's not even a person. China it's a, is it's a simile. China is prepared <laughs> to put gang, gang, gang on the moon, like we did with Neil Armstrong and Lance Armstrong. Mm. And BJ and, Armstrong. And the Live Strong bracelets. <laughs> now, what do you guys think about this? Good China, for them. China landing a Range Rover on the moon? <laughs> I think it's great. Range Rovers are great cars. They handle well. It's a Roomba. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They put a Roomba on the moon. Oh, yeah. Wait, y'all, y'all, y'all really, y'all really don't think that uh, yeah, Neil, well, Neil I, went I, to the moon, or are we joking? Is it satire? No, I dead ass. I, I know that studio set. I've been to it. <laughs> I've shot there. I think we did the Nikki podcast at that set. <laughs> Where they said they landed the moon? Yes. That's CGI? That wasn't that CGI. Like that was game. a white psych and, <laughs> that and a like guy a in a space game. suit. What kind of camera is that? <laughs> that's, a, that's a cartoon, man. Look at the flames. That's this, a cartoon. This is a bad video game. Video games look more <laughs> realistic than this. Yo, I'm still not off that Netflix doc. I forgot the name of it where they put a bunch of people that wasn't real astronauts on the spaceship and then it went up to the circle to Earth. There and was only it, one person that wasn't. The movie Armageddon? <laughs> you don't only think Ben Affleck was a real... <laughs> Wait, that wasn't a documentary? <laughs> No, that no. was uh, Are you sure? Yeah. Every, oh, All right, everybody, well, else was, everybody else was asking. Bruce Willis could go to the moon, bro. No, no I think that's wrong. No, it, it was one teacher. She was that was the first time they were introduced to the I that thought program. there were more people from like no, a regular job them, that had to no, train. Only one of them and, was a teacher. Well, either way, they watched the shit go up and it blew up and they had footage of it. And I was sad. Yeah. That's what this that. is making me think of. Yeah, that's when Neil Armstrong was in that one. He, he passed away in that in that crap. What would need to happen for you to agree? To get on some man-made shit and head to the moon <laughs> or Mars. I'm not going to the fucking moon. Or, to, or to circle the Earth. <laughs> no Ooh. thanks. I'm cool. I fuck with the Earth. I'm cool. Yeah, I like it down here. Earth ain't that bad. Now, yeah, we, we, we I, cool I, think about it. I get mad when the flight don't pull right up to the gate and got to spin around in the sky for a little bit. <laughs> the fuck I look like trying to circle the Earth. Right, you know, no, wait, no. y'all don't remember what happened to us uh, when we landed in Boston and then kept flying? Oh yeah, I've been was something on the, something I was the fucking terrified. Yeah, something was on a truck or something was on the runway. Fuck, we landed in Boston and then flew again. 
You had to take off. <laughs> what was wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't no, know. I remember we that. we literally was, hit the runway, and then we went, went back, back up, up in the yeah, air yeah, yeah, yeah. and circled around that. Boston, and no one that. said anything over the speaker like that was normal. I was also in a flight in Japan that, like, it was a monsoon. It was monsoon season, and it was monsooning, and they don't really give a fuck, so we just went anyway. And we were, like, in the mountains, so it went straight up in the air. I thought I was going to die. So You flew in a monsoon? Correct. This nigga's a dead devil. <laughs> That's why he's taking, had to get to the gig, taking the vaccine. He's going to take the vaccine. And he, but you, what? if you flew through a monsoon, a ba- vaccine yeah, ain't that shit. Ain't nothing. Nothing. Like that, yeah, that shit is nothing. Nothing. It's just nothing. And it's from Asia. Or you bored. <laughs> or you bored. You bored to 1215. You're supposed to take off at 1215. They don't take off at 1215. They come on and tell you, you got to sit tight for the next two hours. Don't tell you that the engine broke. <laughs> uh, I hate that one too Shouldn't they yeah, tell you When the engine is broke On the plane yeah, No my favorite is when they tell you Hey we went through Our safety checklist And uh, it's not safe <laughs> <laughs> But we're gonna fix it right. No get me off this plane Yeah, yeah. They, yeah, get they wait till you're On the plane to tell you This information <laughs> Like can you tell us In the gate so we can hey, Fam I'm going to get A, honey, a Cinnabon Yeah <laughs> no, I'm not doing this with you. Not, I'm not just sitting here Right now No thank you uh, But China's putting people on, on the moon Ta-da There we go There you <laughs> have it Nobody's going on the moon <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Kid Cudi has been to the moon. That's he true. has three times. Yes, I've eaten a bunch of mushrooms and went to the moon. <laughs> Debatable. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> one he, time for sure. <laughs> he influenced no, one, the moon. No, he hit the moon once. <laughs> Could what there t- be any other one, planets? He got there one time. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he was successful one time. Yeah. He was Apollo thirteen on some others. Yeah. I got some issues. That was a good white joke. No. They all went over your head. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Shout out to Tom Hanks and Kid Cudi. <laughs> Cuddy gonna whoop y'all ass, man. I love Kid Cuddy. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's Saturday, so I'm just talking about shit that don't have nothing to do with nothing. But when they was tearing Chet Hanks up a few weeks ago, I was like, hey, fam, if my dad was Tom Hanks, I would tell all y'all to suck my dick. <laughs> In patois. <laughs> Yeah, you ever seen Forrest Gump? <laughs> he was on an island way longer Damn. than y'all. My dad made Castaway. What are you talking about? Like saving Private Ryan. Big. Who you saved? Nigga made Big good. I thought Big was a great movie back in the day. Anyway, it was a great movie. Yo, Saving Private Ryan. That premise of that movie, I would have shot Tom Hanks. You mean we are gonna travel around and get murked just to save some guy because his brothers died? I'm killing you, Tom Hanks. The premise of that movie is nuts. But go ahead. <laughs> they do need new movie plots <laughs> like cause I have a thing with like searching for movies but not really to pick a good movie but just to read the little paragraph about the movie <laughs> Rem loves that too she they're all the paragraph. same <laughs> they're all the, all the movies are the oh, same yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll sit there for an hour and read the paragraph oh, I don't like the paragraph show me the trailer or just yeah, throw I'm me tra- I'm a trailer guy just throw I mean, me in yeah, let me see, yeah let me but the before trailer. the trailer comes the paragraph yeah but I don't have to skip the paragraph I go right to the trailer oh no I can't give my, my trailer time or I'll just dive into the movie I'm Fuck not a, it. I'm not a reader We've we seen, know, we've, we seen know work. we've seen your work. Give me the visuals. We've seen your efforts. <laughs> <laughs> At least I showed my work. How do you say Israeli? You know, again? he don't know where the subtitles icon is. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? <laughs> I'm just gonna watch this movie in Spanish. <laughs> All right, come on, Little Wayne, Little Wayne, Little Wayne, Little Wayne did something that we have to talk tell people about. He flew to Miami with a gold plated pistol. He got taste. Hold on, I can read this one. <laughs> Rapper Lil Wayne pleads guilty to gun charge. He flew to Miami with a gold plated pistol. Killed that headline. <laughs> One year after flying to Miami in a chartered plane with bags packed with gold-plated handguns, drugs, rapper Lil Wayne pleaded guilty Friday to possessing a firearm as a formerly convicted felon. Well, at least he... Damn, they came to the... At least he the, played guilty. They and pulled up on the PJ? Didn't blame and, Tammy. And checked him? Well, yeah, Tammy, Tammy could have packed his bag. Man. Tammy didn't do this one. Damn. That was, you, say, that was, that was not, you, Wayne. I'm not going to get into Wayne business, but flying to well, Miami a with Coke... you got to get into somebody's business. Flying to Miami with Coke is a little yeah, it's a fact. ass backwards. Just yeah, fly yeah. to Miami to get the Coke. Word, yeah. just hit Nori. <laughs> <laughs> Snitch. <laughs> Coke chips. <laughs> no, I was on now that's champs. a show. That's a show. Now that's a show. A lot of hey, Nori, call me when you're ready for Coke chips. <laughs> you and your little drinks. Yeah. I was I was on about four Adderall and Duce sitting next to Crooked Eye on drink chips. <laughs> oh my god, that, that was a weird. Like a terrible night. <laughs> and had, had no no plan of going on drink chips. I was in the parking lot. Nori's like, "You come inside. What's up? Oh, it's a camera and a microphone. Tell us what happened with Slaughterhouse." Nori, I am on mad Adderall right now. <laughs> 
I think you may have said that and, on the episode. And I have mixed it with Duce. <laughs> and I haven't eaten in three days. Because <laughs> of the Adderall. Yes. My apologies to rich boys from Alabama and Atlanta. I'm sorry. I still got that nigga. Fuck y'all. <laughs> We said that though. I feel like this we at least gave you that. We one. said that, but uh, some of the audience out there, I got Bone Crusher too, and Pastor Troy. Damn, Bone Crusher mm, had that joint though. I have to think about that. I got them both, but you only had the one Bone Crusher, I think. I got. I, it's, but he I feel like play, Bone Crusher can, has some features. He can play what he might. like in the, in the three off. Mm. Play play what you like. Mm. I got them niggas. Ah, uh-huh. okay. right. um, back to Wayne. Uh, off I of think the, you and Red Cafe would be a good battle. Red, Red Cafe, Cafe is getting, getting Joe. Hits than Joe's. Red Cafe is getting Joe. He's not. You're not, fu- you're not fucking with him? You're not, you're not. <laughs> no, listen, contrary to popular belief, I like Red, and I, I think Red got joints. The rest of the country may not know that. Absolutely. But I know that. There I was st- an era in New York still- clubs where it was a whole Red Cafe set during the night. No. I- Red Cafe Tell Telling me about Red, I know. I'm very aware of Red Cafe. Yeah, and I believe if, Red Cafe is writing for a lot of these yeah, artists, but, if but I'm I not going to get into But it. if I get up two on Red Cafe, I think I could get them. And I think I get up two on him with my two. Ah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> listen, no, I'm you got to deal with pumping up and clubbing. That's your, you're right. Mm. No, there's no denying the that. The fuck? I can't take that from you, Joe. Fuck you, Maul. What do y'all <laughs> think about Wayne selling his masters to Universal Music Group for over, over, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Over, hey, is in 2021, uh, is it over 100 under two? Over for over. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's over for over. I don't want to hear that no more. You want the 101.57? Yeah, yeah. Tell me what it is. Okay. Yeah. I don't care but, uh, how far over 100 it is. He's underpaid. Wayne's Wayne's catalog well, is worth. Way I didn't more realize. Money. Alex told me that in the article it said that he did so without consulting his lawyer. Yeah, am I trying to pay that lawyer fee on my 100 mil? Wait, what? <laughs> Like, wait, no way. Hold I think up, it's hi- that may don't, be highlighted. Don't, is that joke highlighted? <laughs> don't joke through this. Oh, wait, there it is. The young money boss has reportedly sold his masters to Universal Music Group for more than $100 million. According to some site I won't say, the lucrative deal <laughs> happened in June, but was not made public until now as part of a lawsuit from Wayne's former manager. That doesn't say that he didn't yeah. oh, okay. meet with his attorney. I don't even think that's possible. He told me well, he's also sure being sued. Sue. Well, he didn't meet with his Ronald manager, Ronald Sweeney is, you, is suing Wayne for over $20 million, claiming the rapper hired him in two, 2005 to help renegotiate his deal with Birdman and Cash Money. Wayne settled the Cash Money suit in May 2018, but Sweeney says he only received a few payments from that settlement, which was nowhere near what he believes he's owed. Sweeney also says that around the same time, Wayne asked him to fire his longtime manager, Cortez. All right, I'm not doing the gossip stuff. More, more the business stuff. All right, so Wayne signed a big deal. Old management wants money. This is a familiar story in hip hop happening yet again. I feel like we just covered this last week, but what do we think? You saying Wayne is severely underpaid? Absolutely. (laughs) Yeah, absolutely. Going by his catalog, yes. Yeah. Going by his catalog, I would think. I would think yes. Absolutely. Without a doubt. I would need to know what is exactly in Wayne's catalog that he has rights to sell. Well, to if it's sell. a publishing? Well, yeah, I don't know. That's that's a good question because they could have been owning his pub too. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know that part. I'd like to know it. But off first glance, this sounds like Wayne is severely underpaid, but it's too much of a chain to have to follow with Wayne. Like my issue, you you had all. I have an issue with that relationship between Universal and Wayne, but mm. I'm I'm shutting up. So now you sold your shit to Universal, who already had your shit. I don't know what's going on. I don't know. Yeah, there's a lot know. of tangled webs there. Who owns what? I bet I could untangle them too. <laughs> <laughs> you getting your detective bag? I won't. I will not. <laughs> I have to, if I you've have, watched a lot of Law and Order, I, I have too much respect for these these entities and these people. But and again, like Maul said, you get a hundred million, you get a hundred million. Yeah. What, what I'm gonna say, hundred million, million to hold me down for a little while. Somebody has something coming soon with all of these catalogs for that are sure. being no, sold. There's, there's a reason why this is happening. Yeah, they're gonna up the streaming prices by triple. S- something's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely something. This that ain't we just don't a coincidence that all okay. these people are selling all this shit. And thinking it's a great idea to do well, it. Well, no, I, I, the coincidence isn't on who's selling, it's who's buying. Yes, yeah, who's buying. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, of course you're going to sell. Well, I'm saying the market being open as is of this being a thing. Like, yeah. Yeah, there's probably some inside info that we're not privy to. Yeah, I'm going to need a few mil for my masters, man. Same. 
the fuck out. <laughs> Yo, Maul's hilarious. <laughs> I just turned to look at Joe when he said he need a few million from his dad. I, I know, that's why I thought you're funny. <laughs> okay. See? <laughs> Fam, I don't. It's nothing here, but it's no tension here. I promise you, bro. I'm just letting you know that it's no tension here. But why are you looking at me when I said that? Then? No, because I thought you. I thought it was something that was coming after that. So I was waiting for you to get it to your shit. That's all. That's why I just looked. That at was you. it. Okay. All right. That's all. Um, let's see how to break this, this up. This does suck for the mixtape artist, though. Yeah. Like if if a bulk of your career, Wayne obviously is not in this, even though he was a huge part of the mixtape shit. He had albums. <laughs> These niggas just say shit to try to make me feel bad. <laughs> what? Yeah, go ahead, shit? yeah, no, it's tough for every, a person that was in the mixtape era to sell their their catalog. I it, wonder if that includes their mixtape shit. No, I can't. Why not? Because you don't own it. You still you own the lyrics. You can't, you can't sell your mixtape shit. You could sell your lyrics. <laughs> yeah, right. Watch what I do with this fucking dad piff a loose quarter tape in a couple seconds. <laughs> <Word>. <laughs> sure. You got plans? <laughs> what? Why wouldn't he? Yeah. Catch me if you, you can, Arab. <laughs> <laughs> this is going out, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a pandemic. Right, right, right. <laughs> we got to keep this going. How to break up Facebook. Is that a movie title? <laughs> That's the title like of this shit. Uh, the government is making Facebook fucking sell their shit from and sell, sell everything yeah. but Facebook. They're trying to. They're trying to. We'll see. Why? We'll see they, if they're successful. Why are they doing this? Because uh, it's a monopoly. They should. On Wednesday, the Federal Trade Commission filed a lawsuit against Facebook alleging that the company had engaged in illegal anti-competitive behaviors to sustain or social to sustain a social media monopoly. Attorneys general from the four, from 46 states, D.C. and Guam. Is that right, Guam? Yes. A coalition that conducted an investigation in conjunction with the FTC filed a separate suit making similar antitrust claims. The FTC is partly seeking to force Facebook to sever its subsidiaries, Instagram which it acquired in 2012 for $1 billion, and WhatsApp, which it acquired in 2014 for $19 billion. God damn, WhatsApp so for that much be more than billions Instagram? Across the table. WhatsApp <laughs> is huge, bro. What the fuck? Huge. No, WhatsApp, WhatsApp is really I, I understand, but $18 billion more? That so makes sense. It's it a does. huge, huge, huge yeah. international. Yeah. I just didn't know the numbers attached to this stuff. Yeah. The suit will likely be contested for you, you don't say. And it's far <laughs> from a foregone conclusion that Facebook will actually have to break it up. But if the FTC is ultimately successful, how would Facebook go about separating itself from Instagram and WhatsApp? Nigga, that's their job. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm not bothering myself with that. I hope it happens. I'm conflicted with this type of shit. Because yeah, You're right. conflicted, period. Go ahead. I, I get it. <laughs> I know I've I've admitted that millions of times. You need to tell me that, Joe. Sorry. Um, <laughs> no, the government's only doing this not for our safety. They're doing it because Amazon and Facebook are showing signs that they'll be more powerful than the government. No, the government <laughs> does do this for our safety. They're making a vaccine for us. <laughs> oh my bad. The government isn't making the vaccine. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They are. Yes, they are. They are. Okay. Are they hiring the people to do it? <laughs> okay. No. Scientists are doing it out the good of their heart. Mark, shut the, doing fuck it up. the scientists are doing it because they're going to make a billion dollars off it. <laughs> and the government's going to let them keep it. Right. So they're going to tax it, of course. Just, the, do more just the money. <laughs> they're going to only tax the money, huh? They're going to find Fauci <laughs> in the trunk. <laughs> Don't make me agree with more. Because I hate agreeing with I'll never call agree with him. I'm a genius, man. I'm telling you, man. You one, see this shit from a mile away. Man. Which day do you think it'll happen? Soon. <laughs> Soon. You'll see. Soon. Don't worry about it. <sighs> I ain't fucking with that vaccine, I'll tell you that. You fucking with Facebook? I haven't been on Facebook in years, bro. Yeah, I don't enough. know what the fuck. Yeah. Shout out to Facebook. And you have definitely uh, <laughs> texted an international harlot on WhatsApp. I'm sure. Oh, for sure. <laughs> Especially when you cross international borders. Gotta, gotta stay on the WhatsApp. That's how you do it. WhatsApp is the <laughs> shit. <laughs> Your international chicks, they'll, they'll be trying to hit you at, at random points of the day like, yo, why, why is this not going nowhere? Because you're over there. <laughs> That's why You ever had an international chick 12 hours away Hit you when she's super drunk And you're just like Waking up for the day <laughs> It's an awkward text conversation yeah, yeah, Like yeah. Right, You're doing a lot I'm yeah, making coffee the, Yeah Your really, energy's not the same Really awkward explaining That whole out of sight Out of mind thing <laughs> to them, But it, It's real Hey This bitch is here Like around me <laughs> Like available Trying to come over And shit Psych um, interesting to see what goes on with this. The government has been trying to divide uh, companies that monopolize the internet for the last few years, and one day they're going to figure out how to do it. And because hopefully, I get my hundred million before that happens. Because <laughs> the government is trying to monopolize the internet, and they're pissed they didn't get to it first. Well, yeah. And also because these companies are making trillions of dollars off uh, 
us. And what is the government doing? And what is Johnson and Johnson doing? <laughs> selling baby oil. What, what are they doing? They should break this? up them too. I'm not saying that they're selling. They, they should break up the Johnsons. They're selling yeah. drugs. <laughs> Keep the one Johnsons, Johnson's fucking Johnson separate. Johnson can't be together. <laughs> one Johnson, only one. It's a monopoly on not, the Johnsons. Not vaccines infested with <laughs> drugs and cancer and baby, and baby powder. <laughs> Oh, not not Johnson and Johnson coming out with the three for one vaccine. <laughs> and don't let them advertise on Facebook. <laughs> Shit is crazy, man. Prayers to Lil Wayne in this case. Yeah. What do you say when you don't want to give prayers to something? Prayers. Oh. <laughs> oh even if you don't want to give them. Because here's the, here's the yeah. thing with prayers. You don't really decide them, so you can say whatever. <laughs> you don't have to actually <laughs> like, do the prayer. That's why prayers are so... <laughs> Such a cop out. What's with your everything. prayer? Like, like uh, first of all, you don't even know my relationship. Your bed and say Lil Wayne's name. Like. You don't know my relationship with God. If I pray for it, it probably won't come true. <laughs> I always think about that too. Like when you're on the plane and the people are praying next to you, like, oh man, I hope they're not pieces of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Look what Paul's <laughs> thinking. No, <laughs> hate. I'd hate to die for your karma. Like, yeah, hey, God real. is not answering you, buddy. He saw what you did last night. <laughs> he might be a spiteful God. <laughs> Oh, you rang? Oh, it's you. Oh, bet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, right, no, you got to come clean in the air, and then when you land, be the same piece of shit you always was. <laughs> and niggas definitely do that. Pray before they take off soon as they land. Text a girl some nasty yeah. shit. Go, I'm here. <laughs> Cannot wait. You there, right? You in the room? They gave you the key? Let's get crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, who told you that? <laughs> you've, been, you've been pushing that. No, 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 no. We're not going to let you just keep throwing that line out. No, who told you let's get crazy? He's pulling Prince. from real life. Who told, stop touching me and tell me who told you let's get crazy. Because I need to know how you reacted. I know you just like that. <laughs> <laughs> you need to know. How many years you live with me? <laughs> you need to know how I reacted. So let's get crazy. Okay. He, he went crazy. I got you know it. he went crazy. No worries. Joe grabbed about 40 candles. He's like, what? Come on. <laughs> Had a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> I packed 40 candles. <laughs> now, nah, your man went crazy. Come on, let's talk about it. Tossing it to our basketball analyst, Maul. Paul George somehow <laughs> signed an extension. A that, very lucrative that one. That adds $190 million to his L.A. Clippers contract. It was like 224 or something crazy. Yeah, 226. 226 for Paulie George. 190 million. Jesus Christ. I want to call Kawhi right this instant. <laughs> Pay that man. Pay that <laughs> black man. I ain't mad at it. Oh, I'm not mad at it. <laughs> Shit, I, I'm not in their front office. <laughs> I wouldn't have signed off on it. I'll tell you that one. A oh, quick update Jack Freeman just hit me and said that Face is doing well, waiting for a, a transplant still. Uh, Scarface. Oh. We asked on the last episode yeah. how yeah. Scarface is doing. Glad he's doing okay. And yeah. hope he gets that the transplant. Yeah, yeah. Thank, thank you, Jack Freeman. Yeah, Jack. our Houston insider. Now, now, ask him how Paul George is doing. <laughs> oh, he's two twenty six. He's great. Yeah, word. That just provided my entertainment for the rest of the basketball season. By the way, see how that, that, that lives Paul up? George got all that money. I'm just watching Paul George all year. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Not Austin Rivers. I think, I think, but. I understand. Man. A lot. Of, a few people were kind of surprised they gave him that much, but he, he it's said he Paul got back, George, bro. He said he got back with his trainer that he was with for the MVP season. Mm -hmm. Oh, that'll do it. He never said why he left the trainer from the MVP season. Yeah, I didn't yeah. hear that part. I was listening. Us, get get, I mean, yeah, get into that backstory, Paul. Yeah. Creative, yeah, yeah. creative yeah, just, differences. Just let us know what happened. You know, in the last few years where y'all wasn't working out together. Now, I know one thing. We better see the results this season. Or I'm on your ass. <laughs> we better see it. 190. You're not seeing it. No, I think Must so. be a great fucking trainer. I think uh, I think we're gonna see it. How much the trainer make? I'ma see it if I'm watching I'ma see it if I'm watching the Lakers. You gonna watch the Clippers. <laughs> Why? It's the it's the Clippers. Maul loves the Clippers. What does that mean? No, I'm just saying it's a damn it's a good team. It's one of the best teams in the West. You have to watch them. I don't think they're one of the best teams in the West. They're one of the, come on, stop it. They still do have Kawhi Leonard. So. They're one of the best teams in the West. Yeah, I, so I think they know that. I think they dropped a lot lower than wherever they were, and it's, I'm not gonna give a a sports take right now, but if I'm doing the teams you don't think in the, the West, is a top right? four team in the West. No way, no way on God, no way on God's green earth. You are sick. No way on God's green earth. It's not that green anymore. You're sick. <laughs> well, who did they lose to last little season? Little. They lost to the uh, Denver. Denver, yeah, to the Nuggets. Denver is ahead of them, right? Okay, that's one. 
The Los Angeles Lakers would be two. two. Definitely two. The Lakers are ahead of them, right? Yeah, we said that too. The yes. I'm not making the Dallas jump. I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be so fast to make the Utah jump, but somebody can make that argument. Somebody would be wrong. I don't think the Clippers can beat a healthy, you're going to say I'm lying, a healthy Portland. I'm not mad at that. A healthy I, Portland. I'm not. That'll be a good, good, a good series. I would want to watch that. I got the Lakers, the Nuggets, and Portland better than the Clippers currently constructed. They might do something. That's they three might. teams. So huh? Clippers will be four. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. That's all I'm saying, Joe. Because the Rockets are done. Yeah. Spurs are done. There's a yeah. team in the West I'm forgetting. Oh, the Warriors. <clears throat> we don't know well, what they look We like. don't really know. Well, not now. Not now. No, no, I take it back. All right, I mean Steph Curry's still there. All right, I take healthy, it back. Healthy I take Steph. it back. Listen, the NBA or somebody related to the NBA put out the NBA's top ten players. Greek Freak was three, four was Luca. This is the ESPN list I'm talking about. I'll, I'll just I'll just read it to you. Number one was LeBron James, mm-hmm. two Anthony Davis, three Greek Freak, then Luca, then Kawhi, then KD, then Dame Lillard, then Steph, then Harden, then Jo Jo Jovic, Nikolai. That's the 10. What do y'all think? That's a sick-ass list. I'm not rolling. I said this last year off record. I'll say it here. For the next five years, I don't think I want to hear Greek Freak's name in the same sentence with Luca. <laughs> uh, I just don't. That's fair. That's fair. I don't. I know I maybe don't have enough to support that. I do. But I don't. He's I, got. A, he's had good teams and good coaching and hasn't budged in the playoffs, so I can't put him. He got to make a jump shot. That, Giannis, Giannis, I don't care if he makes footer. a jump shot. You got to win, win some bigger games. He'll Giannis, do that if he makes a jump he shot. He still doesn't know how to play basketball. That's just the bottom line with Giannis. He's a, he's athletic. He's talented, but he don't know the game yet. He don't know how to win games yet. That's yeah, a, I, 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 I can Luca, agree. Luca is special because he's been playing professionally since he's probably seventeen. I think something like that. Yeah. Oh, great! So y'all told me I couldn't say this before, but maybe now I can say it. Who was that Kings pick? That went before everybody that was good. Come on. The Trey Young draft. It would have to be the uh, Donk the Luca Donk chicks draft. Probably Bagley, I think. Bagley. Kid from Duke. Can I say it? Duke, right? can, I, I can I can I say it now? Yeah. Now can I say it? You can say it. A little while ago, y'all told me I couldn't say it was too early to say that Sac- uh, Sacramento's probably regretting the pick. Can I say it now? Oh, everybody's regretting not taking Luca. They were mad other people. <laughs> oh, this is Trey Young's draft. This is Trey Young's draft. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Above Bagley. Oh, yeah. Is yeah, that, yeah. Am I hating? No. Okay. No. I okay. think that's pretty accurate. Okay. okay. Yeah, no. He's still young, though. Still still young. Still young. <laughs> He's only, only 21. He's only 21. <laughs> and the Kings don't really have a lot going on. Oh, yeah. please. You hate Kevin Knox, and he's only 19. Don't do that. I don't hate Kevin Knox. Well, you speak just, badly you about him. No, only you was just talking about him like he was KD of New oh, York. Well, never that. Yes, she was. <laughs> Never that. He was like, Knox off the bench. He Never. can hit the three. KD is in New York. <laughs> Joe was pumping Kevin Knox. All right, man. Yo, Lil Wayne did some Who's shit. Who's that dude y'all drafted? She's like, he can dunk. <laughs> yeah, I, he can, though. <laughs> Look at the Joe was real hype off the dunk. I do oh, remember he that. Dunk. <laughs> OB. That's your guy, OB. He, yeah. he shot 41% from three. Hey, from man. Brooklyn. And he's from New York. Yeah, okay, we're going to see what that shit look like when Kyrie and KD throwing that shit off his forehead and getting to the rack. They don't play each other that much. <laughs> Four times. In the NBA season, that's what, not what, much what, at all. What, what, what's, what's our man? What's our man's uh, percentage from three, Julius? That's my guy, too. But what's his percentage from three? Because that's what he's battling. He's not a three-point shooter. He's, he's, first he's a all, center, is he? He's not. He's, he's no, losing he's not that a battle. center. Huh? Julius? He's losing that battle. And by the way, oh. a three-point percentage Kobe. in the A-10 and the NBA is Cut a different. I wouldn't compare Cut them. it out. <laughs> Cut it out. <laughs> not that. He's not. No. No. Y'all get hyped for y'all. Y'all get hyped for y'all. I Knicks didn't fans. say nothing. Knicks fans always get hyped for their rookies, and they eh, no. He's not I didn't. That. All he's I he's talented. He's talented, but no. L- listen, if I'm the three slash four on the team, and you go draft the three slash four, all I'm saying is you got to look out for the dude. That's all. You don't fuck with Julius. Don't do that. But he you, but, but, but for you to say year. that he don't even have to look the, the young kids way. Do you know what Julius averaged last year? No. Okay. That's that's why you're talking like that. And Julius Randle's more of a big man, I think, than a wing. I know he has a long range game to some degree, but I, I fuck with Julius Randle, so I don't want to ever 20, say something that sounds like twenty and ten last year. You seen what Obi averaged, right? We talking about college? Can man? you tell me in the eight ten? So you don't know? I'm, I'm the never Knicks played a college, college schedule. To <laughs> the Knicks are a college don't team. Do that. Don't do that. Well, <laughs> I don't know if the well, Knicks don't can, do that. Can they beat Kentucky? Don't, don't do that. <laughs> yes. Can they beat Alabama? Yes. In football? Yes. 
<laughs> football? <laughs> no, the Knicks cannot beat Alabama yeah. in football. <laughs> Uh, look at Obi Duncan. Come on, man, get off of this. I'm off of this. There is something. All right, so listen, y'all want to address the smoke or not? We had hour two. Don't oh, be yeah. scared. Yeah. Don't What's be scared. The, look, the then, then grab the ox. Yeah, the the don't smoke. look at me. Oh. Talking, yeah, grab the ox. Then yeah. grab the phone. Yeah, let me yeah. hear the smoke y'all talking uh, about. Yeah, yeah. Nah. Lock your parks, windows. Parks close your doors. Up, park smalls. I'm not sure that we have any choice but to retaliate. <laughs> we we got to clap back. Yeah. No, nah, we might have two more. And he chose my beat. And he didn't mix it. Yeah, <laughs> just to throw salt on the jail. Joe turned down a Spotify deal. His hoe told him to, motherfucker, you for real? Jay owns title, of course he gon' tell you that. Parks need a haircut, looking like he smell like crap. I run on him, Joe turned it down the deal, looking stupid as his frocks. Wearing bands with no socks, the fuck happened? Then and then you read, he did it when you was rapping. And Maul looking like Viola Davis. I think the time's over, can't nobody say this. Maul looking like you. Kicks out, son, came at me. Kicks out, son, came at me. <laughs> Damn, son, what I do? You looking like Viola Davis. Damn. I ain't even peeping till he put it together for me. Looking like Viola Davis. Yeah. I think the pot is over. Can't nobody save it. Damn. Maul looking like Viola Davis. Not even oh, that's the hook. Oh, that's the hook. Over. Can't oh, that's the chorus. Save it. Joe ruins every deal. I ain't just talking crazy. <laughs> Death Jam, Spotify, Complex, and Shady. Hey. You worry more mm. about Insta stories you than your baby. Yeah, I'm hating because the pod's been sucking lately. <laughs> Wait, hey, pu- hey, <laughs> hey, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> tell, tell us when they came hey. out. Uh, Insta story instead of their child. Wait. It's fucking hilarious. Wait. Why you told me I'm worried about it's to snap more than my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Who is that nigga, man? He's a redditor. He's from the, the, the Reddit <laughs> community. Somebody need to sign him. Uh, there's also a part two if you guys see you know. Oh, man, making a murderer. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Can we use a video? Hey, can we yeah. all this out? Yeah. Rory asked permission to propose, but not mm. from Sam's pops. He went and asked ho. Pause that, pause that. Pause that. Pause that. Pause that. Pause that. Uh, That's a lip. So this nigga's clearly a fan. <laughs> He's clearly a fan. Yo, can we bring that bar back? That is hilarious. Of course I can. Yeah, I want to hear that one again. Hey. Yo, he's, he's speaking facts, though. Right. Uh. Yeah. Turn up. Yo. Rory asked permission to propose, mm. but not from Sam's pops. He, he went, went an asshole. asshole. Where's Vlad? They thought you two were bros. You canceled them before you even fact checked them home. Yo, what was that? Think about that. All right, go ahead. <laughs> you're a ginger head man yeah. Joe you're not ginger a press Just man. a bad business man Sin left to the sex drive low But you jerked off your dog homie Yes I know Wait wait wait, wait. Alright 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 all right, all right. Now it's alright Now it's okay Now we have to stop it right Yeah now we was getting other lies off <laughs> Yo, when a, when a strange dude is telling you why your kid's mom left you, said left you because your sex drive low. <laughs> Nigga, if you don't stop watching Love and Hip Hop. But Rory is a gingerbread man or gingerhead man. No, no, gingerhead man is hilarious. No, he's killing oh, no, no, that no, shit. He, he, he yeah. No, you had to retaliate. Sure. Press play on that. Yeah. You keep talking about ownership. Three other people on your pod who don't own this shit. Oh, he dropped the beat out. Yeah. Yeah. And ain't told the mix. I give it six months and the chill. pod's over with. Yeah. They say, why well, listen if you're gonna hate? Cause the pod been mid for eight months straight. <laughs> See the thing I is, the podcast ain't great. Tell if I don't get some money like you're All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Enough, yeah, enough, 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 you're not a genius. <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite part of the <laughs> Oh my god. You're not uh, a right. genius, bro. I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> Who is that weirdo with all uh access to a studio? Uh, and no mixer. Yeah. What don't have He gotta get that mixed. <laughs> Yo, send me the stems. Uh <laughs> November's very own, maybe? Is uh, this uh, is? Oh, oh look at his name. Oh, Jesus, man. Hey. Never mind. Hey. <laughs> I, was with, I was with you till that was your Shout name. out to the Reddit community, man. That was good. I was entertained. Oh, fuck whoever spit them balls. I'm not them. playing no more, y'all trash. <laughs> fuck is that? <laughs> <laughs> Word, now it's going to be a thousand disses a week. Yeah, it's a fact. 
It's all right. I mean, is a way to stop that. I mean, if you know how to stop rappers from rapping about you, I mean, what you what you do? Uh, listen, I put out seven disses. Listen, y'all do what works for y'all. <laughs> put out seven disses that nobody. I, listens I've to. only gotten the biggest and bestest of niggas to back up off it. Mm. Now, how y'all are gonna reply to November's only fourth child or yeah. whatever his name is? Yeah. I don't know. A lot of shots at y'all. Yo, fellas, the studio's open. Uh, listen, there there may or may not be a Patreon. Coming. He wasn't even talking to Joe. Like he wasn't talking to Joe. I know he said Joe, <laughs> but he wasn't talking to me. Nah, couldn't be. Nah. He said Rory isn't a genius? Because I heard... Well, he said, we, I'm not a genius. We don't, we, don't, we don't reply to lies, only facts. Yeah, he said uh, Joe. And it was only lies in there. Got you. But I mean, if you're not a genius, you probably, probably can't see the genius. So I mean, I understand. Takes one to uh, know one? Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Okay, I see what you did there. <laughs> Joe, yeah. you are not a genius. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, shout out to the people being creative, finding creative ways to tell us that we're trash. I like it. It was pretty funny. Yeah, was yeah I, I couldn't be mad at it. No. Nah. Um, all right, what else is important to get to? You notice he ain't say Basley's name, though. That's a good point. He you did. noticed that. He did. <laughs> he did. Let's see. Oh, shit. No, man. My guy, Zoe. My guy, Zoe. Yes. Zoe oh, Dollars. Shit. Yeah. My guy. I'm so glad that he's all right. I'm so that, tired of waking up hearing shit like that. Word. Yeah, I don't like I don't like it either. Shit is crazy. Especially bothered me because I had just said Zoe's name on the podcast. I'm sick of that happening. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sick of saying somebody's name and then they pop up in the news. I'm so glad that he's all right. Um, and apparently this was as he was headed into a strip club. Um, but he's cool. His car was shot up. That's all I got on this. Yeah, prayers up. Just thank Staying God he's all right. Yeah. yeah, from what I've heard, he's, he's doing good, which I was happy to hear. It's a very random tidbit, tidbit but uh, CNN and Dog Pound put out an album, a song. Not I saw album, that, yeah. Which, if you were there at the time, is a big deal. Yeah. Well, they, they were saying, I, I hate that we're becoming the Versus cast, but yeah. that was a, a possible Versus, I heard. You know, stop turning this into the Versus cast. Yeah, don't do that, Roy. My versus bad. tonight, Versus tonight, <laughs> Versus tonight, Versus tonight, <laughs> Versus tonight. That's it. Tell me, how are you going to set the move? Mm. I don't know that I am this this time. You I, gotta I think I'm going to watch. I mean, that's the one, though, to set the mood. I think I would just watch this by myself and vibe out. <laughs> okay. Glass of wine, maybe? Just some light, man. Because <laughs> what happens is, it's just like it's like Super Bowl. When you have a whole bunch of people over and get to talking and shit, now you're missing the battle. I don't want to miss this. Yeah. I don't. I want to pay a lot of attention. Um, I will say, uh, one. which one was that, that you had people at the crib? Brandy Monica. Yeah, I will say. That, that was fun, though. It was fun, but I couldn't really enjoy the music. Yeah. yeah. yeah you miss it with too many it, people it was, around. It was a, a lot of yelling, a lot of bad singing over the music. <clears throat> yeah. I, I couldn't vibe. I forgot who I was ro- watching Ross and Chains with, but boy, was that a party. You know who you was watching Ross and Chains with. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> Why you keep doing that? <laughs> Look how fast Joe. Like Joe, Why you doing? Who, who's I with? <laughs> you see how niggas just start screaming? Who? I don't remember. I don't know who I was watching it with. I'm just stop doing it. that to me, man. Look at Keish. Yo, Keish is winning this. I'm sorry. Mo, like who, you, who you gonna watch this with? Myself, probably. Not the, the young phone. lady that, that maybe you took to dinner the other night? Mm, rented, no. rented out the whole top floor roof. We're getting a dating I life. Go all, all the young we'll ladies. You... The... Oh, t- <laughs> you are still. <laughs> Rory is Rented so the whole top floor. Never. All the, all the young ladies I'd like to watch it with, like, don't live out here. Mm. Can't be corny and have, like, a FaceTime date during the versus uh, battle, right? That'd be pretty corny. Kind of good. Nah, I'm not doing that. Nah. I'm hearing more and more women pop up with the whole... Uh, Apparently, there's some feature on Netflix where you could schedule to watch it with somebody. Yeah, yes, I saw that. Yeah. That's some super lonely Sam, shit. Yeah, it is. Don't never say that dumb shit to me again <laughs> if you're a girl. That's some super lonely hey, shit. Hey, want to watch a movie with me tonight? Well, sure. Are you coming here? No, we can set it up on Netflix and we watch it at the same time and talk. <laughs> Bitch, no. That sounds like the worst Fuck night of my it. life. Hell no. I'm doing that Gotta shit. Gotta talk to you and pay attention. Yeah, it's a lot. This is going to be a good one, though. <laughs> Look at the, the record that Scream Man picked. <laughs> Ashanti better not play around when last night come on. <laughs> she better not. I hope that Ashanti, because Ashanti been like that, that nigga for a long time. I hope that she don't 
look at Keish like some little sis. Just I don't think so. No, nah. hell no. She don't. No. I don't think Ashanti looks at Keish Cole that way. No, at all. Mm-hmm. Well, we will see. Ashanti, I hope Keisha Cole don't look at Ashanti that way. Yeah, I'm about <laughs> no. to say that. I think they they both gonna be very Keisha well prepared for this. You said Keisha would do that? She wouldn't do that. No, hell, neither one of them would do that. They're very aware of each other's records and being aware of somebody's records and looking at them like little bro, little sis is two different things. Yeah, but that would be a mistake on any artist's behalf. You got to respect okay. your opponent. Maul, you have your plans of, of an ambiance, maybe with the lights in your career? Yeah, you know, the lights is always there. Okay, you know well, will the lights be alone? Uh, I'll be there. Will you and the lights be alone? Yeah. Okay. Did yeah, you guys see that Pornhub is cracking down? Look at Rory. Look what you, what you do to Pornhub, man. Yeah. Oh, no, that's Bang okay. Bros. My bad. Uh, no, I got Pornhub Premium, too. <laughs> Baller. <laughs> yeah. What are they cracking down on? Uh, just people posting shit, because a lot of people were uh, saying that they were... Supporting some nefarious uh, sexual acts, so Amazon and Visa said that we're going to pull out. Oh, uh, okay. Wait, Amazon is an investor in porno. Yeah, what's what the name of the fucking... I mean, Mastercard, Mastercard the... and Visa? What's yeah. the name of the Keisha Cole and Monica song uh, that Monica played uh, toward the end of her verses? I don't recall. Hey, look it up trust. for me. Look it up for me. Yeah, yeah. trust. Yeah. Oh man, yeah, that's my sleeper today. That's going to be tough to beat too. Hmm. Keisha's going to go the distance here. She is. Um, all right, what else is important? What else is important? What else is important? Come on, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. We didn't talk it? about... Oh, go ahead. Uh, I was talking about the Disney shit. Disney Plus is increasing its price to $8 a month starting in March. Well, what's the price now? I'd be treating this shit like the Six ninety nine. dollars It's a dollar, dollar more. It's a lot of dollars. It is. So Disney announced a whole slew of shit the other day to get people really excited. They have like nine different versions of Star Wars coming out. Pull it up because I'm not trying to rack my brain with all this shit that I don't care about. And rest in peace, Darth Vader, too. Oh, yeah. I forgot his name is. Oh, the guy who plays Darth Vader? Yeah. Disney Plus will raise its U.S. subscription price by $1 in March. Bringing it to $8 a month, Disney said Thursday, as it unleashed a flood of news about its streaming services at a four-hour event. Disney laid out plans for as many as 20 new Marvel and Star Wars series, promised to let animation fans stream animated fantasy Raya and the Last Dragon the same day it hits theaters for extra uh, for $30 extra, and revealed a new bundle that packages ad-free Hulu with Disney Plus and ESPN Plus for $19 a month. Wait, what was it? Hulu, ESPN, and Disney for $19? Yeah. Oh, that's a good deal. Well, they offered a real good deal before with, uh, you can get, uh, if you get Disney Plus, you get Hulu free for a year or some shit like that. And that was a real good deal, too. Listen, we'll see what happens. Corey says the stock is shooting up. He's a believer. I believe it. It's hard to not believe that Disney will succeed eventually. I don't think that kids care about Star Wars. Like they that. do. I'm, I'm here to tell you that they do. That's like a whole culture. Yeah. It's a huge culture. I know. You, you'll need more. Eh. <laughs> I'm just taking my opinion. I know. It's just my opinion. I get you. I have nothing for to, your, for today, your viewing I, doubt, Yeah, I, I have understand. nothing to support them. No, what I'm saying is, and what, did you, what did you say they had? 86 million people up there? 86 million, 87 million people. Uh-huh. Right? That's, pretty good for a That's amazing. Pretty, That's great. That's great. Platform. That's great. That sounds about like the number of people I expect to rush to Disney Plus when Star Wars and all this Marvel shit right. comes out. That sounds yeah. like the right number. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And all the classic shit. Don't forget that, because there's a lot of people that tune in to watch all the... I don't think the classics sustain you for the next decade. Mm, like Maybe where do, not the decade, no. Like, where do you think their their subscribers stand two years from now? I think it'll go up significantly. I think they probably got hampered a little bit by the pandemic, as the rest of us did. And I just am one that I'm never betting against Disney, personally. No, you can't bet against it. It would be it wouldn't be a smart bet. Yeah, they, they'll figure it out. They've I think as, they, as they go along, they'll figure it out. They'll start putting original content on the platform. And yeah. but when they figure it out, you can come down the hall to HBO Max and tell me about it. <laughs> 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 they figured it out already. Listen, I, I turned on uh, HBO Max yesterday. It seemed like they were celebrating. It said, uh, "Hey, 
Here's a special episode of Euphoria. Just take oh, it. Did you watch it? <laughs> did you watch it? I watched hey, some of it. I didn't watch it. You would really it. like it. You would I, really, I watched really season like one. You talking about the new one or the season? The new did one. you watch the season? No. I watched uh, season one. The season was good. The, the special episode is phenomenal. Yeah, it's, it's a but lot. But that's of, like some, that was some show off shit, like when I saw it. That episode was some show off shit. It was crazy. It was just a conversation between uh, two addicts at the table yeah. in a diner. Yeah, it was crazy. Well, you, see a man, you see a man on the gram letting you know Franklin almost here. Oh, I saw that too. I was about to say that. Spring. You see him letting you know Franklin is almost here. That yeah, last snowfall. season was one of the best seasons snowfall? of TV I've ever seen in my yeah. life. Yeah. I watched it three times. Amazing. Yeah. That shit was crazy. I'm ready. I'm ready for Blockbuster anything to return. That's a fact. <laughs> and Blockbuster movie rental should return. <laughs> really? You you could use that. Why not? <laughs> Nostalgic purposes, right? It's called HBO Max now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what it's called. <laughs> It was called Netflix. Didn't they buy Blockbuster? No, I'm saying that all the Blockbuster movies are on HBO Max. I know. Or and I'm saying to. back in the day, didn't Netflix purchase Blockbuster? That may be true. I'm when not they, sure. they, they purchased, yeah, I'm sure there's some truth. It to is that. true. When Netflix was mailing the fucking DVDs to our house, yeah. that was Blockbusters doing, I think. And Maybe. he's not yeah. pulling it up, so fuck it. Yeah. Um, what else is important? What else is important? Uh, Nothing? Oh, oh uh, Ringer, Unions. Huh? A podcast union? Bill Simmons is, is union busting. Really? Ah, I didn't want to get them to see how Zoom worked either. <laughs> <Bill>. <laughs> Tell them how overtime works, Bill. <laughs> well, the Twitter site. Hey, I got the fuck out of there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a Twitter account called Ringer Union uh, broke down how their pay structure is. Uh, they said, during this work stoppage, we want to take a moment to highlight one of our biggest outstanding issues, compensation for the Ringer's hourly employees, a category that includes most of our editorial assistants, copy desk, video producers, and podcast producers. At the Ringer, hourly employees are paid based amount per week. The pores! <laughs> but rather than reflecting 40 hours of work, Peasants. The, the base pay is calculated <laughs> according to a 40-hour Regular in quotations Broke work fucks. work <laughs> get a job work at a lower hourly rate sell drugs and ten hours of overtime bill. get a brick <laughs> hey get to the stove <laughs> the fuck is you talking about hey get some baggies nigga melt the seal <laughs> yeah, the fuck is you at? put some ghosts on it <laughs> some crappy ass <laughs> this nigga giving out some sick ass advice <laughs> <laughs> what uh, the hell is this. Uh, so it says hourly employees are unable to file for additional pay until they've already logged in 50 hours of work, which is typically a 40-hour work. What a crock of shit. Uh, and should be, which is the norm. The ringer calls itself a pay setup 50-hour guarantee, but this guarantee is artificially suppresses overtime pay. Hey, go uh, be a waiter. <laughs> nah, shit. It might, might make more. Boycott click, Bill. Click the, Boycott I, Bill. <laughs> Boycott <laughs> Bill. Oh, Boycott shit. Bill. All right, so a standard pay the, the structure. Ringer. That nigga's ringing up you guys' salaries. <laughs> With his, what, 200 million? Whatever the fuck he got? Yeah, that nigga's out ringing it up. So it's a standard pay structure is $962 per week, which is 40 hours per week. Base, oh, the peasantry. Base pay is $24 <laughs> an hour. Overtime pay is $36 an hour. I Ringer don't even pays... want to read base pay in my contract. <laughs> don't base me nothing. Max me out. What the ringer pay is $962 Max me per week. out. <laughs> Max me out. Max me out, Dawn. <laughs> <laughs> They are forty hours plus the ten hours of OT per week, which brings it to seventeen fifty as opposed to twenty four an hour, and their overtime pay is twenty six as opposed to the thirty six an hour. And I'm on a fifty hour work week. I wouldn't give you niggas a month's worth of pod vids for this nonsensical garbage. <laughs> are Man. you kidding me? That's tough. Boycott Bill. Boycott Bill. Everyone boycott their jobs. <laughs> no, this is crazy. I'm joking around, of I course. Mean, you wouldn't know anything about Zoom, though. I'm joking so. around, of course, but come on, man. It's fucked up. Come on. That's fucked up. Well, well. the come on says it all. Come, yeah. on. Yeah, come on. Come on, man. I get it. Uh, according to Double XL, Bobby Schmurter will be a free man one year from today, which is December 11th. Sorry, Vanessa. I'm not listening to anything Double XL has to say. 
<laughs> well, I, we hope. I love you. But I feel no. like we've gotten that report several times in the last several uh, we, years. We've gotten he's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> and Shorty had allegedly uh, shot her ex boyfriend in the head. Is out on bond. Anne Marie. Okay. Oh, I'm not familiar with her. So, uh, I, I'm familiar with the story a little aspiring bit. Aspiring act from out of uh, I want to say Chicago. Chicago? Uh, yeah, I believe it was Chicago. Chicago, Chicago yeah. yeah. Out on bond. And I think her story is that the gun fell and shot him in the head. Shit. It's been a couple people's I don't believe that stories. Story. I don't believe that story. I mean, I guess that's fucked up. Yeah. Did he die? Yeah. Yes, rest in peace. Yeah. Yes, he did. Yeah. Um, and can we get Darth Vader's name so we can say it? There we go. Dave Prowse. Prowse was cast as Vader for his imposing physique, even though the role was voiced by James Earl Jones. Oh, uh, I actually, actually didn't an, know James Earl Jones. What an was the important voice. character. No, I never knew that. You can hear it? Use the black man, but don't don't show him. Yeah, make the white man put a, put a black <laughs> mask put, outfit put on. Put a black costume, yeah. <laughs> These fucking whites. Boy, God, Bill. <laughs> Boy, God, Bill. God damn it, Bill. <laughs> Bill ain't got nothing to do with that. I don't know. I don't know. Um, let's see. Sumo. Do you know for a fact? Nah, you're right. Boycott Bill. <laughs> New York City officially closing uh, indoor dining Monday. This Monday. Active. It's happening. It's been rumored for a little while, but now it's happening. I'm going to fuck out of here. This shit is stupid. Y'all can have New York. It's over. I, I, I really feel for Cuomo these Cuomo is a fucking idiot. Don't do, that. Don't do, that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. We love idiot. Cuomo's. No, we, don't. we love the Cuomo's. <laughs> fucking idiot. Were you closing indoor for what? To try Everybody's to abiding by the rules. They like you had an indoor diner all of these months. Everybody's abiding by the rules. You're wearing your mask if you have to go to the bathroom and all this other stupid shit. And I'm trying to I abide by the rules and fly young ladies to me, but you're making it tough now because they don't want to come to New York when it's closed. And I'm not that big of an attraction to get them here. So like, <laughs> you need the indoor diner. I need the the mint coconut hookah. <laughs> yeah, this shit is stupid. No, nah, I feel for the small businesses. This, Me uh, too. I, I really feel for them, and I think it's a little odd when you close indoor dining, but you're allowed to have outdoor dining that's technically inside. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> it's, it's what I've been saying like, the whole right, time. Right, we'll do indoor dining as long as it's on the, the sidewalk. It's fucking stupid. All of this shit is contradicting. All of this shit. These it's, restrictions are stupid. Like it's just bullshit. Like it's a it's a it's, fucking it's game. Not really, but I mean, I, I do is. think some of it, it is to, is to cover close on ass to make it look like they're doing. The fuck, something. we closing at ten p.m. for like that's the only time you catch coronas at ten p.m. But they was doing that uh, prior to the lockdown. I'm, right? It's all contradictory though. That's all I'm saying. This shit is stupid. Well, it's they dumb. Wanna, it's they, dumb. They, they it's fucking try. dumb. It's they dumb. need to find some they financial wanna, They just want to save folks. lives more. No, yeah. they, they, no, 3,000 people they are don't dying. Wanna, they don't want to save lives. That's not what they're trying to do. Yeah, These niggas are. is playing with the money. Somebody high up pissed somebody off. And now they're up there having a dick swinging contest between Democrats and Republicans. It's all fucking stupid. This shit is dumb, man. Bottom line. Rest in peace to the 3,000 people we've lost a day for the past week. So, uh... No, for, for sure. 3,000 a day? Yes. Oh, that's why they're closing. Correct. <laughs> the numbers are back up. Very, very much. Yeah, because my little spot that uh, I was going to that would sneak me in, test me, and get me out, they told me get the fuck out of here. It's lit in there now. Yeah. The line is line is back around the around the block. Yeah. Too many cases, too many tests. Nah, go wait in line, Joe. Yeah. Nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Not taking no tests now. <laughs> mm-hmm. But yeah. Uh, yeah, rest in peace to everybody who lost their life due to COVID. Rest in peace, uh, Fred the Godson. And again, real happy that Jeremiah is out and doing well. And rest in peace to Tiny. Tiny, reading that, hearing the difficulties, it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. Um, I don't need to hear about what Dave Portnoy has to say about this because I understand what he's going to say about this. <clears throat> uh, Kyrie said he's not New talking to the, to the media. Huh? Kyrie said he's not talking to these pawns. Mm, this is going to be a good him. NBA season. I feel him on that, though. <laughs> It's going to be lit this season. Hopefully. I feel That's going to be a story all year. Kyrie not talking to the press because there's going to be shit to talk about. Oh, yeah. I think he, you know, he know that the whole LeBron shit, all, all the reporters want to ask him about that LeBron shit right now. He's just trying to avoid that. But when the season starts, you know, it'll be, other th- it'll be more basketball to talk about. James Harden is in Houston not meeting up with none of the Rockets. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no, he had to get tested first, right? Oh. I think he had to get tested, like protocol first. Uh, what what's in? I mean, I'm sure it changes per player, but what is the contract of having to speak to the media with the NBA? 
It's just part of your, your obligation after after every game. But is there like a, a the time game? limit? Like, I'm just curious how that works in a a contract. I'm just here so I don't get fined. Yeah, I mean, yeah. That's, uh, that's the best way to do it. Marshall if you want to talk Lynch. to them, you just you can just tell them that they can't say you didn't talk to the media. Yeah, mm-hmm. there's loopholes, but they probably did something in the contracts to where that's can't do like that a thing no now. Yeah. yeah, but all right, I don't have nothing else. I'm ready to get out of here. I thought you were going to give me a version. Hey, man. Come on. I got to play yours. Yo. I know you're joking, but I killed this. No, I, I was actually, no, I was I'm really being dead serious. I thought he was going to end with your version. I killed this about taking care of another nigga's kid. That's a, that's no, a I, no, no. I'm not even trying to clown you. That that concept had never been done. I thought that was dope yeah, when I heard that. I was like, yeah. oh, no one's ever rapped about this. This is kind of cool. That's some weirdo shit, though. That's Super hard. weirdo. But, but it was great. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like there's mad dudes that have gone through that exact situation. One for sure. thousand percent, but I guess it's not cool to rap about. Only when she's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't taking care of your kid if you ugly. I ain't doing that. Wait a minute! <laughs> we not doing that, Rory. I don't give a fuck. Yo, I hope y'all enjoyed this podcast, man. We'll be back same time, same place, Wednesday. You know the vibe. Nah, nah. <laughs> Yo. This in Keisha's 20? No. No way. Yo, man, that's it. That's the end of the pod. Yeah, it wouldn't. But Hope you enjoyed it. Keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. Until next time, I bid you adieu. Farewell. Adios. Arrivederci. Hasta la vista. So long. Goodbye. Please remember life is a series of moments. Please remember now more than ever that life is a series of moments and moments past. So let's make this one last as if it's all we... Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. And you never lied to me, baby. You said you'd always be around. And now I need more around. Hey, nigga. <laughs> yeah, more. more you was an acquired nigga. Me. Now you want a choir battle. Fuck out of here, nigga. Now more than ever, life is a series of moments and moments past, so let's make this one last as if it's all we have. Shout out to the creators, shout out to the companies, shout out to the scammers, shout out to the... Oh, come on, Keisha. Yeah.